Renewal by Anderson installs custom Fibrex windows that are energy efficient and are as beautiful to look at as they are to look through. Get started with a free no obligation in-home consultation today. Visit RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect and rodent control, and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and save big for the season. Rocky's also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rocky's Ace Hardware, your home for hardware and more. Find your store at Rocky's.com. At Cox Mobile, we know you're smart. You brush your teeth in the shower to save time. <laughs> you also added Cox Mobile so you can save on your Cox Internet. So smart. Cox postpaid internet required. Prices exclude taxes, device activation, and other fees and charges, which are subject to change. Other terms and conditions apply. Learn more at cox.com slash mobile. I'm Kelly Burris, a partner at Cordell & Cordell. For over three decades, Cordell & Cordell has been on the front lines of family law. Divorce is more than just a legal process. It's a life-changing event that can impact your future, finances, and your relationship with your children. You've worked hard to build a life you're proud of, and you deserve a legal partner who will work just as hard to protect it. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. 600 Kelwood Parkway, Suite 310, Town & Country, Missouri, 63017. CordellCordell.com If you're looking for the most epic place on earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. From the WEEI Studios, 93.7 WEEI-FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. This is... Red Sox baseball. And it is gone! And Boston strong! On the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Radio Network. For the first time in 86 years. The Red Sox on WEEI are brought to you by Shaws and Star Market. Perfecting the art of fresh. Holy cow! 110 Grill. Gluten-free dining done right. Arbella. Here for baseball fans. Here for good. Brought to you by Azek Exteriors. Visit www.azekexteriors.com. Mike's Amazing. The official mayo and mustard of the Boston Red Sox. And it's gone! Sitco. When you start with Sitco, you're good to go. Sponsored by DigSafe. Call 811 before you dig or visit digsafe.com. Drains by James, Eastern Massachusetts leader in drain cleaning and pipelining. And that ball is gone into the front row of the monster seats. Herb Chambers. At Herb Chambers, we don't sell cars. We help people buy them. Morgan & Morgan. Injured? Hire Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Cars for kids. Old car giving you problems? Why not donate it? Call 1-877-CARS-4-KIDS today. Northern Bank. New England Ford. Ford Trucks. Official truck of the Boston Red Sox. Looking up. Grand Slam. Sponsored by Sherwin-Williams. The Sherwin-Williams Pro Plus program helps you manage and grow your paint business. Sponsored by Nissan. At Nissan, we make cars that thrill. Experience the thrill for yourself. Shop NissanUSA.com. Town Fair Tire. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. We're going to drive to left field down for a couple runs. What? Subaru of New England. Love spring in the all-wheel drive 2024 Subaru Forester. Verizon, the network Boston relies on. Log on in the monster seats. Now, with all the play-by-play -play action, here's Joe Castiglione and Lou Merloni. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to PNC Park, the beautiful stadium in downtown Pittsburgh right on the banks of the Allegheny River is the Red Sox and the Pittsburgh Pirates get set for game two of this series Alex Gore said the Red Sox played their best game of the season last night with the 8-1 to one victory getting outstanding starting pitching from Bayo four home runs and playing solid defense today we have a beautiful day with bright sunshine 
and uh, some chill well in the air with the wind blowing uh, very hard here sometimes up to 20 miles an hour right now 56 degrees in pittsburgh so about 10 degrees cooler than it was yesterday and tomorrow will be even cooler as we'll be lucky to hit 50 degrees red sox who are now 11 and 10 send cutter crawford to the mound he's been the tough luck starter this year only one earned run in 21 and a third innings for cutter and uh, doesn't have a victory to show for it. He leads the league in ERA at 0.42, second to toughest to hit. Opponent City 122 against him, and third in uh, whip walks and uh, hits per inning. So, Cutter Crawford hopes to get some runs early, and the Pirates will use their race. Mitch Keller, who's been good of late, he's won his last two starts. He's 2 and 1 with a 4.50 ERA. The Bucks have lost four straight. They come in with a record overall of 11 and nine the season series the all-time series that is 11 and 11 in regular season play of course they've met in the 03 world series when the red sox in the first world series beat the pittsburgh pirates now let's pause as we have the, the performance of our national anthem middle school band West Allegheny High School Band with the National Anthem brought to you by BuildSubmarines.com where you'll find stable, sustaining, skilled trade careers helping bring the next generation of U.S. Navy submarines to life. We build giants because it takes one to build one. Lou Merloni with us today. and Lou has the starting lineups. Yeah, starting lineups brought to you by Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. For the Boston Red Sox, coming to this one 11 and 10, leading off will be in center field, Jaron Duran. Will you abray you? Back out in left field. There's Rob Refshner at a bats third. He's back out in right field. Tristan Casas bats fourth at first base. Masataka Yoshida is your designated hitter. Bobby Dahlbeck will be at third base, batting seventh will be Emmanuel Valdez at second. Reese McGuire is doing your catching. And Sadon Rafaela will be batting ninth and playing shortstop again for the Boston Red Sox. For the Pittsburgh Pirates, who come into this one 11 and 9, they have lost four straight games. Leading off will be the designated hitter, Edward Olivares. At batting second will be the right fielder, Brian Reynolds. Brian Hayes will bat third, playing third base. Jack Sawinski will bat fourth, playing left field. Joey Bart is behind the plate, batting fifth. Rowdy Telez, Red Sox killers at third, first base. Jared Triolo will be at second base, batting seventh. Batting sixth, an eighth rather, will be O'Neill Cruz. He will be your shortstop. And Michael a, Michael A. Taylor rounds it up. He's going to be playing center field. He is batting ninth with Mitch Keller on the mound. Well, the Red Sox here trying to continue their road. Warriors, they're eight and three at on the road. They're three and seven at home. Alex Cora said that it was the best game they've played all year. You got it all. You got pitching. You got defense. You got hitting. Defensively, the first ball to Rafaela, he booted. But other than that, I thought defensively they played well. And it was really good to see Will your Abreu get going here as well, Joe. Yes, indeed. The Red Sox have been on a power surge. 
28 home runs, four last night, three behind the league leader in Orioles. Time for Power Possibilities brought to you by Comcast North Central. Well, the power might come from anywhere in this lineup today as it did last night, up and down, especially Tristan Costas, who's got four homers in his last seven games. With advanced network, cybersecurity solutions, and trusted partnership, Comcast business powers more business than anyone. Restrictions apply. Call or visit ComcastBusiness.com to learn more. Well, Mitch Keller, their leading winner last year, 13-9 on the season. He's won his last two starts. And uh, he's the guy they hooked up for a long time. They gave him a long-term deal last season. Yeah, five years, $77 million mm -hmm. to Mitch Keller. As you mentioned, last couple outings has gone deeper uh, against Detroit, six innings. Only gave up two runs in Philadelphia. His last win, seven innings, two runs against that lineup. He's gotten up close to about 100 pitches, so... He's kind of getting back into form. Remember last year, early in the season, Mitch Keller up at Fenway Park went seven innings, one run, threw the ball real well as part of that sweep that the Pittsburgh Pirates took care of business up at Fenway Park. So he's he's a challenge. And the other side, Cutter Crawford, you mentioned it, not getting much run support as well as he is throwing. He's got a .57 ERA in four starts. You know, he's only given up nine hits in four starts, which is extremely impressive. However, he doesn't have a win to show for it. So obviously today the Red Sox trying to get some more runs on the board for one Cutter Crawford as we're waiting for the Pittsburgh Pirates to take the field here in another beautiful day in Pittsburgh. Gorgeous ballpark overlooking the Allegheny, the Roberto Clemente Bridge. And still walking across, uh, heading to this beautiful yard which opened in 2001. Yankee said goodbye to John Sterling today. He retired after 36 years at the Yankee microphone, and he was honored in the pregame ceremonies with his family. He got video messages from Derek Jeter, Bernie Williams, and Paul O'Neill, presented with gifts, including an 83-inch television and a Yankee home jersey for the number 5,631, the total number of Yankee games he called on radio. His partner, Susan Waldman, the Newton native introduced him to the crowd, and Sterling thanked his Michael Kay and Waldman, his partners over the last three decades, and of course, the fans. He said, how lucky can you be for people to celebrate what you do for a living? I never, ever dreamt that I'd be recognized. I told my boss earlier this might be the biggest day of my life, outside marrying Jennifer, of course. Sterling spoke before the game at a news conference well he will be missed his uniqueness his calls i know sometimes you, you kind of can make fun of them at times but he had his own style he is remembered for it uh, he entertained you know and i know it's the yankees but still for doing as long as he did you respect it i thought he was great at it i know this year maybe last year may have missed a few things i don't know calls it quits and he moves on to the rest of his life, and we wish him absolutely nothing but the best. And I'm sure Susan will move on. She'll be doing just fine. We won't see them probably a little bit later on in the season. I don't know if it's June or it's so. It's in June. Yeah, there. late yeah. June. Yeah. But we got some action here today. Yeah. The Red Sox try to make it two straight, eight and three in the road. Trying to get to nine and three behind Cutter Crawford. As Jaron Duran gets ready to step in the box, I turn it over. To the Red Sox Hall of Famer and the voice of the Boston Red Sox, Joe Castiglione. Thank you very much, Lou. Great to have you with us. And here comes Duran, both for his last six, 0 for 5 last night, hitting 284 with a homer, nine RBIs. Keller, their ace, pitching in the short sleeves, delivers and leaves a fastball up and away ball one. The home plate umpire is DJ Rayburn. 57 degrees, Brennan Miller at first base, Brian Honor at second, Paul Clemens at third, and that one misses away, ball two. He had 17,000 plus last night, a similar number today, maybe a few more. And the pitch home is in there for a strike. There's a river walk right behind the right field fence, and beautiful down there, they have big huge baseballs made out of uh, stone there's a drive to hit the right field pretty deep back it goes toward the wall and it is 
off the top of the wall. Duran hitting second. He's well on his way to third, and the throw is too late. He dives in safely with a triple. He missed a home run by inches. That fence is about 18 feet high. Had it gone a little bit more towards center field, there's a yellow line. It would have been a home run. Yeah, it shoots up real quick right down that right field line. It's a straight line across center field. And then once you get to the right field, it scoots back up again about 10, 15 feet. There's another section back there. And just below that home run line is a netting in which it hit. And because of that netting, it sort of died in that corner, which allowed Duran. And the jump all over that fastball. And lead. Second triple of the year. Missed the home run by a footer. So right above the 375 foot marker. Here comes Abreu. And the infield back except the third baseman. Breaking ball in for a strike. What a night Willier had last night. Two doubles. And a booming home run in the first inning. That almost made the river. Yeah, nice little short stroke. Kind of just stay there. He's got enough pop. It was his first homer. He swings and nubs one toward third. Runner coming home. Ball rolling, rolling, rolling. It hits the bag. They let it roll. Hayes, the third baseman, so he had no chance. So he was hoping it would go foul, but it stayed fair and hit the third base bag. RBI single for Abreu, and just like that, the Red Sox score first. Yeah, you know, Hayes had a play on this ball, and I think, you know, it's almost like the speed of Duran. He did not have a play at home, but because of that, I think then he decides to try to get this ball, see if it can land foul, but it's not even close to landing foul. But if he had just picked it up and just given up this one run and could have had Abreu at first base with nobody on, and now the Red Sox still have something going. They pace for that decision. Nobody out for Ref Snyder, who homered last night, matching his total for last season, his first of the year. And Rob takes a strike, playing again in right field and again with a right-hander starting for the opposition. Well, after last night's outing against those righties, why not? He was smoking the ball over the ballpark. The 0-1 pitch coming with a runner at first, nobody out. And there's a hard ground ball to second. Nice pick by Triolo. And the shortstop drops it on the exchange. It would have had a double play. Runner is out at second. Abreu force 4-6. Four, yeah. But that should have been a double play. The ball was hit very hard. It would have been if he had caught it. And that Coleridge kind of looking. I don't know if they want to take a look at this. He says no. Trying to maybe it's on the exchange. But O'Neill apparently had control and just couldn't get it out of the glove. That should have been a double play. You know, Keller's a guy, 94, 95. His sinker about 92, 93. He's got a cutter and a sweeper. And a curveball he'll throw mainly to lefties. He's been going more to that fastball. Four seam sinker the last couple outings. Since he's been throwing the ball better, you kind of look at what changed, and really it's the usage of that, throwing those two pitches more. Now Tristan Casas, been a power surge. He takes up an in-ball one. Tristan at 244, six homers, 10 RBIs. Now that should have been an easy double play, especially with O'Neill's arm. It was hit hard. It was one hopper to Triolo. Triolo is a good-looking infielder. Sure is. Not hitting much lately, but he can pick it. Here's the pitch. That's up and in, missed with a fastball. 320 down the right field line, 375 where Duran hit the triple in right center. 399 to dead center, then it goes out to 410 by the bullpens. 379 to deep left. The pitch is up and away. Not an easy home run park, especially with that right field wall being 18 to 20 feet high. Yeah, and this breeze was kind of swirling. We came in here, walked over here today. It was blowing straight out. I was like, ooh, let's go. Now it's just sort of not much to it. Swirling around a little. There's a strike over the inside edge, borderline pitch. Three and one. I would say lefties have a better view of this or feel like it's a little bit closer. Obviously, that right field wall is a little bit closer. Deepest part of this ballpark's left center. Pretty deep out there to left. Other than if you kind of tuck it to that line a little bit it shortens up but right field is e easily the shortest part of this ballpark and we know the ball really shooting out to right center last night 3-1 pitch coming to Tristan here it is and he fouls it left side into the upper deck a beautiful setting here with the bright sunshine not much traffic on the Allegheny River here with the wind and Cool temperatures, 57. 
There was one ferry, but just one pleasure boat we saw all day. Here's the 3-2, and he takes a little high ball four. That was a close pitch mm. to take. So, one out walk, puts runners at first and second, and brings up Yoshida, DHing, hitting a 221 with a homer and eight knocked in. Ref Snyder at second and Casas at first. Red Sox are eight and three on the road. I'd like to add to that total here today. Two on, one out, one in. Last night they got two solo homers in the first, the pitch. Swing, there's a line driving a right field, a base hit. Runner hits third, and he's going to have to be held there by Kyle Hudson as Brian Reynolds gets to it quickly. That was scalded, line between first and second. So Ref Snyder can only advance one base. The bases are loaded and brings up Bobby Dahlbeck. Yeah, that's good to see from Yoshida, kind of just staying on that baseball, staying through it, line drives, keeping that ball in the air. It was a fastball up in her half. As you mentioned, hit it so hard. A little shallow out there in right field. So you look out there, and Reynolds isn't playing too deep. Give the shot here to Bobby D. Who broke his off for last night with a double. One for 22 this season. The pitch is in there for a strike. Doesn't want to fall behind. That has been part of the issue. That was a good cutter there from Keller. He'll show it to righties, but sinker, sweeper, fastballs for the most part. Mixing a cutter to righties. The 0-1. Swinging a weak ground ball for the first baseman grabbed by Teles. Fires to second for the force, but a run scores. No relay to first. Two nothing Red Sox. He nubbed it. Adalba gets his third RBI. Hit it in the right spot, and Teles, the first baseman, had to go a long way towards second to grab it. Well, the goal is to get a run in, right? Whether it's a sack fly or softly hit ground ball, whatever it is, get the job done, get one in. Now you want to get greedy. Now you want that third run in there from third base, leaving up to Valdez. You want Casas in here. The ref Snyder scored. Casas to third. Yoshida forced at second. Dahlbeck on at first, and here's N. Manuel Valdez. Hitting at 161 with two homers. He had a two-run double late in last night's game. Keller delivers. Check swing at a high fastball, and he did not go, says the umpire at third. Well, the Red Sox scoring two as they did last night, hoping for more. To be a 1-0, here it is. And a foul around the batter's box. Our Bell Insurance Foundation dedicated to striking out cancer by supporting the Jimmy Fund for every strikeout from a Red Sox pitcher. Our Bell Insurance Foundation donates $50 to the Jimmy Fund here for the Jimmy Fund here for good. A 1-1 pitch coming to the Red Sox second baseman. And he swings and rips a bullet just foul down the right field line. Low liner that hit about 50 feet past the infield. And the Yankees celebrated John Sterling's career today, but on the field they couldn't score. Rays and Yankees were scoreless through nine innings. Tampa Bay got two in the tenth inning to win two nothing. The one two pitch coming. Here it is. It's up and away. A fastball missing at 96. Keller is a native of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Still lives there. He's recruited to big time schools, including North Carolina. But signed with the Pirates instead. 2-2 pitch coming. And there's a drive hit high to right field. Pretty deep. Back goes Reynolds on the track. He has the room and makes the catch for the out that retires the side. That wind looks like it's coming in a little. Might have hurt it. Well, the Red Sox settle for two. Pirates coming up on the Shaw's in Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. New England homeowners know metal roofs are strong protection for their homes, resisting high winds, ice dams, rust, moss, and lichen. Plus, snow slides right off. 
As New England's largest residential metal roofing company, East Coast Metal Roofing has no supply issues. We can install year-round with a lifetime warranty and lifetime workmanship. Spring into savings with 0% financing and 10% off your total roof replacement. East Coast Metal Roofing, the official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect and rodent control, and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and Save big for the season. Rocky's also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rocky's Ace Hardware, your home for hardware and more. Find your store at rockies.com. I'm Kelly Burris, a partner at Cordell & Cordell. For over three decades, Cordell & Cordell has been on the front lines of family law. Divorce is more than just a legal process. It's a life-changing event that can impact your future, finances, and your relationship with your children. You've worked hard to build a life you're proud of, and you deserve a legal partner who will work just as hard to protect it. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. 600 Kelwood Parkway, Suite 310, Town & Country, Missouri, 63017. CordellCordell.com Hi, this is Cutter Crawford. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. And Cutter Crawford on the mound. He hasn't had much run support. The Red Sox did get two in the top of the first for him as the Pirates come up. But... Tristan Casas has left the game. Bobby Dahlbeck moves from third to first, and Pablo Reyes takes over at third. Casas walked, got to third base running the bases. Well, we didn't see anything where he might have been injured. I'll have to get an update on that one. All right, here's Oliveris taking ball one low from Cutter. Oliveris, the DH, 0 for 9 of late, hitting 261 with three homers, a right hand batter. And he swings, and it's a pop-up. Foul ground. This will make the chairs behind third. That was things starting to look up. Pavetta's has had several sessions in the bullpen. Devers and O'Neill may be on target to play Tuesday, but now Casas has left the game. I'm going to find out what that's all about. Here's the pitch, and he swings and grounds it hard and fouled on the third base line. Yeah, that's a guy you don't want. Can't afford to miss. There's too many guys. We're talking about Ref Snyder's a nice addition. Abreu was swinging it the other day. It's needed with guys like O'Neill and Devers out, but you certainly don't want Costas out of this lineup. So that's the way he's been swinging it. Tied for third and home runs with six. There's a ground ball hit on a big hop to third. Charged by Reyes. Fires high, and Dahlbeck just does pull it down. Hey, Oliver's got down the line in a hurry. Made it close. Yeah, he did, and this, you know, not a bad it, Reyes, I thought the timing of it was fine, but Olivera's speed, a little bit of rush at the end of this throw here, but of course you come into this game, you get ambushed. Nobody thinks you're ever going to come in as a bench guy in the bottom of the first for anybody. Next thing you know, you find yourself out there, and of course, the first one's hit to you. Yeah. That's baseball. Here's Brian Reynolds, who two home runs last year off Crawford. That's taken high. Well, Cutter's been absolutely fantastic. We mentioned it, four starts into it. He's given up one earned run, only nine hits. Opponents been... hitting 122 against him entering this game. Reynolds can't hold up on a good cutter. Reynolds at 258 with two home runs. The right. length is the thing with him, right? Trying to get length on him. He gave you six in his first outing. He went five and two-thirds his last Love to see him kind of like Bayo last night. Give you six. Prepare for tomorrow. That would be the plan. If you can execute it, that misses inside two and one. And certainly distressing to lose Casas. Hope it's nothing serious, but must be something where he wouldn't have come out of the game. Two and one the count to the left-hand batting. Switch hitting Reynolds, actually, and he swings and misses. That was a good cutter down. Yeah, that's a pitch that really the last couple of outings, he's trying to figure it out, right, because he's thrown last outing, he threw his cutter more than anything. The outing before that, it was the sweeper more than anything, so it's a feel, and he's got a lot of different pitches to be able to go to. 
He delivers, and Reynolds fouls it straight back out of play. He's batting in the Morgan & Morgan starting lineup, brought to you by America's largest injury law firm. That's one pitch to four-seam fastball. Only once this year has he thrown it over 30%. And it was one of the best fastballs in the game last year. He works from the set, the pitch. And there's a line drive base hit in the right field. So Reynolds, who was 12 for 23 against the Red Sox entering this series, gets his first hit. He had a couple of walks last night. Yeah. I think he'll take that, given what happened the last time you saw him. Remember that three-game sweep back in April of last year? Reynolds went 7 for 12 in that three-game series with a couple of doubles and three homers. Two of them off Crawford, as we said. Here comes Cabrian Hayes. He's at 261 without a homer, seven RBIs. Doesn't pull the ball much. Grounded foul off the end of the bat toward the backstop. They thought later in the season last year he started to pull it and hit for more power. But he's not hit with much authority this season. John Wainer there, TV analyst and former infielder. Breaking ball low. Said he's the best third baseman he's ever seen defensively. He's got a great first step. Yeah. Won the gold glove back in 2022, I believe it was. I mean, that's really saying something. Yeah. When you think at the greats that he has seen, including Brooks Robinson and Cleet Boyer, and any others, a pitch swing and a pop up. Shallow right field. On comes the right fielder, and Ref Snyder makes the catch for the out. Well, the Red Sox will take him hitting the ball the other way. Keep him in the yard. Two down for Jack Sowinski. Hitting 180 with two home runs. Yeah, you know, I'm saying it, it's all about when you catch these guys. Remember last night, they didn't look good. It's lost four straight. They didn't swing it at all against the Mets. Shelton talking about an offensive approach. It's one of those days where you kind of jump on them early. They're struggling offensively. Get out of this first and just sort of add on. Crawford's pitch right over the top in there for a strike. Pass ball at 92. Check our league leaders who are circling the drain presented by Drains by James, Eastern Mass's leader in residential and commercial drain cleaning and pipelining at Drains by James to give a poop about your pipes. Now time granted here and batter steps out. Mike Trout leading in home runs with eight. Tyler O'Neill still second with seven, and Casas tied for third with six. Crawford delivers now, and it's a little bit low. That's a splitter. That was so good for him. You know, I was talking about his usage kind of up and down between the cutter and the fastball and the sweep, but one thing has been consistent is he's using that cutter more and more every start. His first outing 2% of the time. And now he's worked his way up to 11 his last outing. And the pitch against lefties is starting to become another weapon for Cutter Crawford. Uh, he's really mixed it up well, the pitch. Swing and a miss. He threw a fastball by him on the inside. A lot of cut to that at 88. One ball, two strikes with two out and a runner at first. Red Sox leading 2-0 in the first inning. Here it comes, and that's strike three. We got him looking at a backdoor slider. So Winsky thought it was high, but he's rung up, and that retires the side. After one, two nothing Red Sox in the Shaw's and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Picture this. You're behind the wheel of a John Deere compact tractor. You're effortlessly breaking ground, moving piles of rocks just by moving a lever, and enjoying the sun as you clear brush across your pasture. We could keep trying to put you in the moment, but to really understand what this feels like, you just have to get in the seat. Visit us in South Kingston or online at howardjohnsoninc.com for all your John Deere needs. New England homeowners know metal roofs are strong protection for their homes, resisting high winds, ice dams, rust, moss, and lichen. Plus, snow slides right off. As New England's largest residential metal roofing company, 
East Coast Metal Roofing has no supply issues. We can install year-round with a lifetime warranty and lifetime workmanship. Spring into savings with 0% financing and 10% off your total roof replacement. East Coast Metal Roofing, the official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. For centuries, the lighthouse at Castle Hill has been a trusted guide to safer harbors ahead. And like the rock-solid foundation it's built on, at Bank Rhode Island, we're proud of our financial strength, which customers trust to help them manage and achieve all of their personal, investment, and business banking financial goals. Bank on our strength. Bank RI. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Off of the second, 2 nothing Red Sox. Reese McGuire will bat first here. And the pitch is swung. I hit hard on the ground. The second baseman stabs it. Triolo's very good with one hand. Goes to first for the out. And Lou, some have spotted on a 3-1 pitch to Casas, him holding his abdomen. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really seen a good replay of it. Um, haven't seen the play, so I don't want to speak too much of it, but... Um whatever it was like you mentioned he, he walked and then ran the bases I'm trying to think if he even might have swung he say yeah, he did he followed the pitch off to the left yeah, three one pitch he followed strike one call to raffaello homered last night 167 with one homer three of his last 32 takes a strike he was also robbed of a hit so he did swing the bat with more authority Falling behind here, 0-2. Yeah, there's been some signs of it, too. He's driven the ball to the wall. I'm living right center, Fenway Park, back to the center field wall, so he's better contact. He rolls over on one to the third baseman on the ground, and Hayes throws him out, 6-3. It was an outside pitch down and away. So two men down quickly, and here's Duran, who tripled off the top of the wall in right center, narrowly missing a home run and scored eventually. Brought on an infield hit by Abreu. Our Subaru of New England scoreboard. Subaru of New England Love Spring event is here. Drive away in a new Subaru. Find your authorized dealer at SubaruofNewEngland.com. Breaking ball misses inside. Ball one. Tampa Bay scoreless with the Yankees through 10. Got two in the 10th and wins 2 nothing. Adam the winner. Caleb Ferguson, the loser for the Bronx Bombers. We're now 14 and 7. There's a call strike. That's the only final we have so far. 1 1 pitch. Duran takes another strike down and in. Jaron didn't take longs. Last night was the only guy in the lineup that didn't get a hit. 0 for 5. Rolled over and three or four times and didn't look like his normal self. And he comes out here in his first at bat and fixes that with a triple to right center. One two pitch. Swing and a bounding ball to first base. Telez has it on the second hop and barely wins the foot race to the bag for the out that retires the side. Red Sox go quickly. After one and a half, two nothing Boston in the Shaws and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. I'm Kelly Burris, a partner at Cordell & Cordell. For over three decades, Cordell & Cordell has been on the front lines of family law. Divorce is more than just a legal process. It's a life-changing event that can impact your future, finances, and your relationship with your children. You've worked hard to build a life you're proud of, and you deserve a legal partner who will work just as hard to protect it. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. 600 Kelwood Parkway, Suite 310, Town & Country, Missouri, 63017. CordellCordell.com. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect and rodent control, and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and save big for the season. Rocky's also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rocky's Ace Hardware, your home for hardware and more. Find your store at rockies.com. 
At Cox Mobile, we know you're smart. You brush your teeth in the shower to save time. <laughs> make coffee ice cubes for your cold brew. Mm. And wear goggles to cut onions. You also added Cox Mobile. So smart. Now you're running on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability and saving on your Cox Internet. It's ingenious, just like you. Oh, thanks. Cox Mobile, the smart way to mobile. Cox postpaid internet required. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Other restrictions apply. Learn more at cox.com slash mobile. Hey, it's Rob Rest Center. This is the home of the Sox, W-E-E-I. Paul Mav of the second, 2 nothing Red Sox. Joey Bart, the catcher, coming up. Former Giant property, hitting 240 with two homers. Tutter Crawford, a lot of first inning single, but that was it. First pitch is pumped in for a strike, and he struck out Sawitzki to end the first. The game's first strikeout brought to you by Weikert Real Estate. When you hire a Weikert Real Estate agent, you can be sure you've got a partner who will guide you every step of the way. Here's the pitch, and the right-hand batter swings and misses at a high-breaking ball. And that strikeout to Sawinski got Derek Shelton screaming at D.J. Rayburn behind the plate. He felt that pitch was up. And I tell you, he let it into him a little bit. I was surprised that it wasn't more of a warning. He just sort of, Rayburn just sort of brushed it off. Ground ball hit hard. Going into left center, a base hit. Short stop, Raphael was pulled over toward third base. So a leadoff single for Joey Bart. Their starter, Henry Davis, the behind the plate, has been struggling. Now, Rowdy Tellez, the Red Sox nemesis, he was quiet last night, hitting a 218. He's been quiet early this season with one homer, and he's knocked in six. Whether you're off to the ballpark, dog park, or amusement park, Sitco top tier trickling gasoline gets you where you're going. Whether you're traveling near or far, when you start with Sitco, you're good to go. Crawford deals, and a bounding ball hit to first. Backhanded by Dahlbeck, fires down to second out. Back to the pitcher, covering, and they turn the 3-6, one double play, and they got Rowdy Telez by about 10 feet. Yeah, and I tell you, Bobby Dahlbeck is so comfortable in the field right now, playing with a ton of confidence. He just backhands this ball, and he's got such an easy arm. He gets rid of it quick, it's strong. And he got it to Rafael, who just kind of did the rest. And Crawford, being the athlete he is, he gets over. And they got Telez easily. That was an impressive turn. Very well done. Here is Jared Triolo, the second baseman, hitless in his last 13 at bats. He fouls this out of play. Triolo, big guy at 6'3, about 210. Born in Nashville, New Hampshire, but grew up in Texas. He could move, though. Shows really good range at the second. Kind of reminds me of Story a little bit. Big guy, but yet athletic and quick. I think he'll hit. Foul to the backstop. It's been slow going early this season. 0-2. Oh that was a four-seam foul back at 93. 2-0 Red Sox. So you await word on Tristan Costas as to why he left the game. Here it comes. Breaking ball low and away. So we're talking about double plays at this level, right? Lead off knock. That's not turn. Now you still got traffic on. All of a sudden you're one pitch. Bases are empty. Two outs. Nobody on. Takes a lot of the pressure off each and every pitch by Crawford. Here's a foul to the backstop. The Pirates' failure to turn a double play in the first inning cost them a run. Yeah. It's force, force at second, and O'Neill lost the ball in the transfer. It would have an easy double play. More often than not, that'll be the case in the big leagues with extra outs granted. The pitch, swinging a high fly, left center field, not all that deep. Duran is there, coming in now and puts it away. So Crawford gets them quickly after two, two nothing Red Sox in the Shaw's and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. 
New England homeowners know metal roofs are strong protection for their homes, resisting high winds, ice dams, rust, moss, and lichen. Plus, snow slides right off. As New England's largest residential metal roofing company, East Coast Metal Roofing has no supply issues. We can install year-round with a lifetime warranty and lifetime workmanship. Spring into savings with 0% financing and 10% off your total roof replacement. East Coast Metal Roofing, the official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. For centuries, the lighthouse at Castle Hill has been a trusted guide to safer harbors ahead. And like the rock-solid foundation it's built on, at Bank Rhode Island, we're proud of our financial strength, which customers trust to help them manage and achieve all of their personal, investment, and business banking financial goals. Bank on our strength. Bank RI. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Get our Spring Fest doorbusters while you can right now at Lowe's. Shop $5 spring cleaning must-haves from Scrub Daddy, Tide Simply, and more. Plus, save over $1,000 on the LG Smart Top Load Laundry Pair. Was $22.98, now $12.96. These limited-time deals are going fast, so shop them in-store and online today. Lowe's No Spring. Lowe's No Savings. Offer valid through 422. Appliances pricing includes all discounts while supplies last. Hey, it's Tanner Howe. This is the home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. All right, here we go to the third inning. Red Sox leading 2 nothing, and here is Abreu. Had an RBI hit in the first inning. He takes high ball one. He had a little number down the third base line at the end of the bat with a runner at third, and Brian Hayes let it roll. It hit the bag. Duran scored. And Abreu had a single and an RBI. Yeah, that's where you know he's going well. Yeah. He had three hits yesterday. The bomb, the double off the top of the wall, just missed his second home run. Another nice hit, and then you come out here, a little swing and check, swing something down the third base line. You get a knock. It's five of his last ten as he takes a ball low, three and nothing. And the Herb Chambers batting order will be followed by Ref Singer and then Reyes sitting in Casa's spot. Kill it behind 3 0, the pitch. And uh, ball four away. That was a close pitch. So a four-pitch walk, second issued by Keller, brings up Ref Snyder, who had a double play ball, hit very hard to the second baseman. They got a force at second, but O'Neill dropped it on the transfer, could not turn two, and it wound up costing them a big run. Lead off man aboard with Reyes to follow. Mitch Keller works, and a ground ball hit foul. Past the third base coaching box, grabbed by Brian, the third baseman. For every four bagger the Red Sox hit this season, Red Sox Radio Network donates $40 to Cars for Kids. We're making our donation. If you want to call 877 Cars for Kids or go to carsforkids.com, donate your car, cars with a K. The old one to Ref Snyder. Swing and a pop foul, first base side out of play. Well, Abreu's got four bags. He hasn't been thrown out yet, but much like Davis yesterday, the young kid, Henry Davis, behind the plate. Joey Bart's quick as well. He's about a 188 pop time, which is, right now, that's pretty elite. Sure is. He's like Wong right now. is about a 196, and we know how well he throws the ball. The 0-2, he waves it. It pitched down and away, strike three. Jeff Snyder chase there. First strikeout for Keller, and here's Reyes. Crosses walk out as far as third and then left the game. Seemed to be holding his abdomen or side. Yeah, hopefully. You don't want to suspect anything, but you grab that side obliques. You don't want to be talking about those yeah. at all. Hopefully it's just a precautionary thing. We'll get more, hopefully, at some point. Yeah, those take a while to heal. Strike one to Pablo. Going to struggle for Pablo in the early going this season. He's hitting 179. One on, one out. Pitch is swung on foul to the mm. backstop. Good pitch to hit there. Fouls it back. I Peter, they call it a sinker, but it was up in the zone. 
So nothing in two. Keller has walked two, fan one. Right-hander delivers, and that's a breaking ball up and away. Yeah, a big sweeper he'll use against the righties, and Keller doesn't have really much of a leg kick at all, so it's tough to go on a guy with a slide step, especially when you catch it and throw it. For balls in the dirt now to try to get that extra base. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He got it by him on the inside. I remember a manager who did not believe in the slide step, and people <laughs> ran wild. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. You may not believe in it, but the best thing is to just sort of keep it quiet and allow other teams to figure it out on their own rather than I mean, Joe Kerrigan one year came out and said, we don't believe in a slide step. Tech wasn't too happy because they just ran wild on him all day. Same manager that told you not to swing at the first pitch ever, right? Yeah. <laughs> Breaking ball is outside. He also was a pitching coach here at one time. Ball one to Yoshida, who aligned to single the right his first time up. Toss to first. Abreu back with two down. Will they be going? As you said, he's very quick to the plate. The pitch home. And there's a strike. Oh, nice strike call again. In a pretty big zone for D.J. Rayburn so far. Red Sox leading 2-0. Runner at first. Two down in the top of the third. Killer 13 and 9 last year. There's a shot caught by the second baseman. First baseman, I should say. Line drive grabbed by. Hit it hard. Yeah. Rowdy reached out for it and grabbed it. Rowdy Telez. Side retired. So after two and a half, two nothing Red Sox in the Shaw's and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. New England homeowners know metal roofs are strong protection for their homes, resisting high winds, ice dams, rust, moss, and lichen. Plus, snow slides right off. As New England's largest residential metal roofing company, East Coast Metal Roofing has no supply issues. We can install year-round with a lifetime warranty and lifetime workmanship. Spring into savings with 0% financing and 10% off your total roof replacement. East Coast Metal Roofing, the official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. Get our Spring Fest doorbusters while you can right now at Lowe's. Shop $5 spring cleaning must-haves from Scrub Daddy, Tide Simply, and more. Plus, save over $1,000 on the LG Smart Top Load laundry pair. Was $22.98, now $12.96. These limited-time deals are going fast, so shop them in-store and online today. Lowe's knows spring. Lowe's knows savings. Offer valid through 422. Appliances pricing includes all discounts while supplies last. If you're looking for the most epic place on earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then, trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Hi, this is Tristan Casas. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox WEEI. Neil Cruz batting the switch hitting shortstop. First pitch is a breaking ball in for a strike as he leads off in the Herb Chambers batting order, sponsored by Herb Chambers, Lincoln of Norwood and Lincoln of Westboro. Do nothing Red Sox. They have two singles off Crawford. They were harmless. And the big shortstop pops it up left side. Playable for the shortstop. Raffaella taking charge. Makes the catch at the edge of the infield grass for the out. Good. Cruz up there at 222 pops out. Yeah. Uh, Mike, Michael A. Taylor hitting 300 with six RBIs. This lineup really needs O'Neill Cruz. He's been batting lead off to drop him to two hole. Now he's down the eighth spot, down to 220. And more importantly, 34 strikeouts, about 80 plate appearances. 
been a struggle. Last year he missed most of the year with a fractured ankle. There's a fastball for a strike. Four seamer from located for Cutter. 92. Down a little bit. Usually floats around that 93 to 94 and a half range. Be an 0-1. And is over the outer half a call strike. Taylor, most recently with Kansas City, came up to the Washington system. Very good defender. No balls and two strikes. One out and the base is empty. Two nothing Red Sox. Crawford deals and there's a high fly ball. Right center field shallow. Valdez out. On comes Ref Snyder. Rob calls. Makes the catch. We're thrilled to one of the Chick fil A community hero each week. And this week it's Paul Clarici of Walpole, whose grassroots fundraising has helped many causes, some cancer treatment of the YMCA. Chick fil A honors Paul Clarici. Now Edward Oliveris, acquired from Kansas City, rounded out 5 3 his first time up. That one's low and away. The Royals are a surprise team in baseball. They pounded the Orioles 9 4 last night and a 13 and 7. One game behind the front running Guardians. The 1 0 pitch coming to this right hand batter. Go for his last 10 and a strike over the outer half. A good cutter there from Cutter. You know, 1-0, it's always nice to have that pitch, that go-to pitch. He's really been challenging guys with that four-seam fastball this inning and latter half of last inning. He gets a nice little 1-0 cutter in there. That one runs a little inside. Red Sox all-time in in league play, 309 wins, 221 losses. That is the best winning percentage ever of any big league team. 583 ball. Here's... Crawford with a 2-1 pitch, and there's a line drive left center field, a base hit. Over the head of the shortstop, cut off by the left fielder, Abreu. Third single off Cutter Crawford. It brings up his nemesis, Brian Reynolds, who's single to the right his first time up. It's remarkable the Red Sox have the best interleague record of any club because they had a terrible start when interleague play began, mainly because... Yeah. Somebody thought the Braves were their natural rival. They hadn't been in Boston for 60 years. Yeah, and I, I paid the price for a lot of that, too, because for some reason someone always got hurt before we faced the Braves. So I'd always face Maddox Smoltz. <laughs> Maddox Smoltz and Glaff. A quick 0 for 9 and get out. There's the drive hit to center field. Back goes the center field to Durant. He's there, makes the catch in front of the track, and Reynolds is out on one pitch. And that retires the side. So after three, it's 2 nothing Boston on the Shaw's in Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable easy wash oven tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last. See Lowe's.com for details. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home. Yes, cool. Or attending one live. Go! You'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at Cox.com slash Internet. Other restrictions apply. New England homeowners know metal roofs are strong protection for their homes, resisting high winds, ice dams, rust, moss, and lichen. Plus, snow slides right off. As New England's largest residential metal roofing company, East Coast Metal Roofing has no supply issues. We can install year-round with a lifetime warranty and lifetime workmanship. Spring into savings with 0% financing and 10% off your total roof replacement. East Coast Metal Roofing, the official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You've got questions? O'Reilly Auto Parts has answers. Need a pro you can trust? We've got that too. No matter what you need, our professional parts people have the training and expertise to help you do things right. Deep automotive knowledge. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. 
It's Alex Corman. This is the home of the stocks. W-E-E-I. How we go the fourth inning for the play-by-play? Here's Lou Merloni. Thanks, Joe. Bobby Dalbeck stepping in. He'll be followed by Emmanuel Valdez and Reese McGuire in the Herb Chambers batting order. Sponsored by Herb Chambers Volvo Cars of Norwood. The 0-1 pitch. Pop fly to shallow right field. Incoming Reynolds. He's going to call for it. He's got it easily. Makes the catch, and one is retired here in the top of the fourth. Red Sox up in this one 2 to nothing. Keller, actually, since he gave up a couple, came out of the gate, getting hit hard. Walking a couple guys, and since then, has really kind of settled down here in that second and third inning. To bring up Emmanuel Valdez, who flew out to right field in the second, to end the first, I should say. And there's a drive, but it's going to be foul. Hooked. I don't know if that's going to make the water or not. Saw the video of William Abreu's home run last night, and it hit the back fence on the fence as it was going into the water. Maybe another foot to get over that fence. I'm going to put one in the Allegheny. Here's the 0-1. A little change up down and away. I thought it was that close. It was. There's a walkway, grass, a walkway, then grass, and then there's a fence kind of protecting the river, and it hit the very top of that river. This is the 1-1 from Keller. It's fastball down and in. I was down there before this morning and there are huge baseballs made out of stone with the names of all the Pittsburgh Hall of Famers not only Pirates but also the Pittsburgh Crawfords and the Homestead Grays people hmm. like Satchel Page. 2-1 misses away 3-1 the fourth inning is brought to you by Cars for Kids donate your car and help a child today schedule your free pickup at 877 Cars for Kids or at carsforkids.com that's cars with a K 3-1 count here to Valdez, and he misses down and in. As Keller walks his third guy of the game so far. It's going to bring up Reese McGuire, who grounded out second base in that second inning. Mitch Keller has 35 games started of at least five innings. That is the longest active streak in Major League Baseball, 35 straight. Something the core always talks about. Need to get five from my starter. It's the first pitch to Reese. It's in there with a sinker. Strike one at 93. Another beautiful day here at Pittsburgh. Chilly side, but sun is out. It's the old one to Reese. Misses up and away with a cutter. A little sweeper with Keller. And much like his last couple of starts, when Keller's actually been throwing the ball better, he's really been sticking to that four-seam fastball, sinker, and cutter. You haven't seen many of those sweepers. They're challenging him with power. As he throws over to first base, Valdez back easily. Andy Fox in his ear at first base. Kyle Hudson, the third base coach. Red Sox have one more here in Pittsburgh. And we'll be taking a bus down the road to Cleveland with an off day on Monday, which I think they're looking forward to. They haven't had an off day in a while. Right from that 10-game homestand to this three-game series. Here's a 1-1 from Keller. Swing and a foul straight back by Reese. Well, Fleming, who's listening back, Rhode Island, Lou, says... You're really crushing it, and it's got to be a home run coming. Yeah, well, there was last night. I called it a double in the gap. Kind of hard from up here. <laughs> I was hoping I'd be a little closer to the field. You're about, man, I feel like you're on the ninth floor of the garden trying to do this game. You know, the one-two here from Keller. It's in there, a little squibber to first base. Tellez comes up, throws to second base. Back to first base, and it's in time. This time, O'Neal Cruz made sure he had a grip on it, and he fired at the first base. To beat the slow-footed, Reese McGuire. That's going to end the top of the fourth. We're going to head to the bottom of the fourth. But the Red Sox still leading this one 2 nothing. You listen to the Red Sox radio on the WEI Shaw's and Star Market Radio Network. Get our Spring Fest doorbusters while you can right now at Lowe's. Shop $5 spring cleaning must-haves from Scrub Daddy, Tide Simply, and more. Plus, save over $1,000 on the LG Smart Top Load Laundry Pair. Was $22.98, now $12.96. 
These limited time deals are going fast, so shop them in store and online today. Lowe's No Spring, Lowe's No Savings. Offer valid through 422. Appliances pricing includes all discounts while supplies last. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. New England homeowners know metal roofs are strong protection for their homes, resisting high winds, ice dams, rust, moss, and lichen. Plus, snow slides right off. As New England's largest residential metal roofing company, East Coast Metal Roofing has no supply issues. We can install year-round with a lifetime warranty and lifetime workmanship. Spring into savings with 0% financing and 10% off your total roof replacement. East Coast Metal Roofing, the official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. Hey, it's Rob Rest Center. This is the home of the Sox, W-E-E-I. We head to the bottom of the fourth of Herb Chambers' batting order. Leading off will be Brian Hayes here in the fourth. Jack Sawinski, Joey Bart. Face Cutter Crawford, who through so far, through three innings, has been efficient. Only 35 pitches. Three hits, well above his average. And then coming into this one in four starts. He's only given up nine hits total. Three already here in three innings, but no runs across. And again, only 35 pitches, 28 for strikes. Really kind of leaning on that four-seam fastball maybe more than we've seen the last couple of starts. He's got a 2-0 cushion here in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch in there to Hayes has popped up down that first baseline. I think that one's going to get out into the stands. Stalbeck gives it a run. Still no word on Tristan Casas. He walked in the first. Ran the bases, ended up on third base. He was stranded there. And then the next inning, Reyes ran out to third base, and Dahlbeck went from third to first. So we're still waiting word on what's going on with Tristan Casas. Here's the 0-1. It's in there, filed straight back. Four-seam fastball at 92. That's something you can't afford, Joe. No, especially the way he's been swinging the bat, and so many people have been going down. They hope to get Devers and O'Neill back Tuesday, as we mentioned, but you can't keep losing your top players like no. this. No, you can't. Here's the 0-2 to Hayes, sweeper in the dirt. Let's pause 10 seconds for a station ID. From the WEEI Studios, 93.7 WEEI-FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. One, two count to Hayes here, top of the fourth. Here's the pitch, swing, and that's going to be lined down that right field corner. Will it catch the grass? That is going to be a fair ball, Ref Schneider. Gets it in quickly, but Hayes with an easy stand-up double here to start the fourth. Well, he does hit most everything the opposite way. That time he hit it with a more authority. That's his sixth double of the year for Hayes. This is just a four-seamer. Kind of pain on the outside black and hit the spot that Crawford wanted. Got to give Hayes credit for staying on it. And the Pirates have a little action. Pirates have been struggling to score runs. Struggled and got swept by the Mets in last night. One run across. That came in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to Sawinski. Is it cutter down and in for a ball? Sawinski struck out looking in that first inning. Got Derek Shelton, the manager, screaming at DJ Rayburn. He thought the ball was up. Here's the 0 1 is pop up to the infield. Looks like Valdez is going to call it. He's underneath it. And he secures it for the first out of the inning. Yeah, Lou, Aaron Boone's probably driving home to Connecticut from Yankee Stadium about now after his 2-0 10-inning loss, which had to be tough. But he really wants to know about what's up at Shaw's. Well, I can tell you, Shaw's and Star Market present Norwegian Prime Salmon Filets, Booney. Now on sale. Get it today. Just $8.97 a pound. When you use the digital coupon Shaw's install, Shaw's install Market, the official supermarket of the Red Sox radio network. You better keep driving north so we can find a Shaw's. <laughs> well, that sale's still on. Yeah. Joey Bart steps in here with one out in the fourth. Takes ball one and a cutter away. 
Talks lead this one 2 0 to Brian Hayes. Still on second base with that leadoff double in the fourth. Joey Bart led off the second with a single up the middle on a hanging sweeper from Crawford. A little inside move. Going to keep Hayes right where he is. He was quickly relate, uh, erased, I should say. On a double play ball from Rowdy Telez. Beautiful play by Dahlbeck. Rafaela finished it off. It's the one 0 from Cutter. Yeah, it is a Cutter. Catches the outside corner. I mentioned he's been leaning on that fastball maybe a little bit more than we have seen in the past at 44%. When he did that once, that was against the A's. Everything else has been that 23, 24%, but that four-seamer, he's feeling pretty good with it today. The 1-1. One, one. It's fastball up and in. Runs Bart back a little bit. Moves his feet. Sweeper cutter for the most part. After that four-seam fastball, he's only thrown... Three split fingers at this point. It was a great pitch for him last outing. 2-1 from Crawford. He's a cutter, an inside cutter. A little front door, freezes him. Abreu in left field pretty straight up. Duran kind of shading towards right center and ref Snyder in right. He's straight up, shallow out there. Of course, a short porch out in right field here at PNC Park. 2-2. Misses with a heater away. It's going to run the count full. This is a 3-2 from Crawford. Fastball up. He missed. Ball four. We got a little trouble here in the fourth inning. First and second. One out. It's going to bring up Rowdy Telez. I mentioned bounced into a 3-6-1 double play in that second inning. Crawford would love to get that ground ball again from Telez. Telez, 39 career games against the Red Sox. 319, five doubles, 14 home runs. He's really tortured the Red Sox in the past. Here's the first pitch in there. It's a cutter in there for strike one. Red Sox baseball brought to you by New England Ford dealers. Now during truck month, get a great deal on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 47 years straight and the official truck of your Boston Red Sox. The 1 That's a split-finger fastball that misses down. This is where you really worry about this guy with the past history 14 career home runs against the Red Sox you sure do wind kind of swirling here at PNC here's the 1-1 one, one pitch and this little pop fly looks like Reese McGuire is going to have room to get this one here and he does just that as Rowdy Telez way out in front of us good split fingered fastball from Cutter Crawford as he slams his bat at home plate and breaks the big man is not happy. <laughs> That's good to see if you're going against him. Maybe not for Pittsburgh fans. <laughs> going to leave it up to Jared Triolo. Yeah, this place is filled in fairly well. Probably have over 20,000 here. Yeah, not bad. It's a beautiful ballpark. Seen a lot of Red Sox fans here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, surprising number games, this yeah. early in the season. But they know it's a great ballpark. That's a big part of the attraction. It sure is. Cutter trying to get out of this jam here with two outs. First and second. Jared Triolo takes strike one. That's going to be a cutter. He's really mixing that cutter to both sides of the plate. Kind of through that front door. See Triolo kind of back off that pitch, thinking it's going to be in, and he catches the inside corner. Here's another one, hard ground ball up the middle. This one's going to get through the left. Hayes is going to score. Bart is on to third base. And Triolo delivers here with the two-out knock to cut this Red Sox lead in half, 2-1. to one. They broke an 0 for 14 with that hit. There's another four-seam fastball. It is elevated just over that middle of the plate. But 
Triola does a nice job of going up and getting it with Rafaela kind of shading in that five, six holes, hit too hard to get up through the, to get through it up the middle. Shortstop, Brings up O'Neill Cruz. Flew out in the sixth. O'Neill now down to 220. He does have three home runs and six RBIs. Misses with a cutter in. Just the second earned run allowed by Crawford this season. Yeah, he's now giving up five hits. I mentioned nine hits through four starts so far this year for Cutter. Here's a 1 0 from Cruz. Swing and a miss on a good Cutter down and in. Cruz's failure to turn a double play, the only reason the Red Sox still lead. Yeah, back in that first inning, wasn't able to turn it. Triol got it to him and maybe a little bit too quick. Bobbled it, dropped it. Sox ended up getting a run out of it. Here's the 1 1. That's going to be in there for strike two. Another good cutter at 90 miles an hour. Perillo does have two stolen bases. Hasn't been caught yet. In first base. Cutter trying to get out of this one. Time is called. Looks like O'Neill Cruz might have called that one. No, actually, that was Reese McGuire. It's DJ Rayburn puts both hands in the air. Indicating that that is one step off disengagement from Crawford. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. He got him with another good cutter in. O'Neill Cruz throws the bat. And Cutter Crawford kind of limiting the damage here. But Pirates get one. They cut the lead in half. We're going to head to the fifth. It's the Sox two. It's the Pirates one. You listen to Red Sox baseball on the Shaw's and Star Market. WEI Red Sox Radio Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. New England homeowners know metal roofs are strong protection for their homes, resisting high winds, ice dams, rust, moss, and lichen. Plus, snow slides right off. As New England's largest residential metal roofing company, East Coast Metal Roofing has no supply issues. We can install year-round with a lifetime warranty and lifetime workmanship. Spring into savings with 0% financing and 10% off your total roof replacement. East Coast Metal Roofing, the official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. Get our Spring Fest doorbusters while you can right now at Lowe's. Shop $5 spring cleaning must-haves from Scrub Daddy, Tide Simply, and more. Plus, save over $1,000 on the LG Smart Top Load laundry pair. Was $22.98, now $12.96. These limited-time deals are going fast, so shop them in-store and online today. Lowe's knows spring. Lowe's knows savings. Offer valid through 422. Appliances pricing includes all discounts while supplies last. If you're looking for the most epic place on Earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Hi, this is Tristan Casas. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. Sit down, Rafaela steps in. Face Mitch Kell as he leads off here in the top of the fifth, followed by Duran and Abreu. First pitch swing and filed off to the right. This is the Herb Chambers batting order. It's sponsored by Herb Chambers, Honda Boston, and Honda Burlington. Rafaela grounded out weakly his first at bat in the second inning off Keller. It's now into the fifth inning for the 36th consecutive time. The ground ball to shortstop right to O'Neill Cruz. He gets up nice and easy, throw to first, and gets the speedy Rafaela. Boy, the last inning, that last pitch to O'Neill Cruz on the strikeout was the 110th pitch. It was brought to you by 110 Grill, gluten free dining. Done right. 110 Grill is official partner of the week Red Sox radio network.
Jer Jaron Duran stepped to the plate here with one out in the fifth. Tripled to lead this game off. Ended up scoring. And a Willier Abreu ground ball single. First pitch is in there. A little cutter at 85. Here's the 0-1. That's a little check swing. That's going to be left up and away. It's 1-1, even the count. Last year, Keller sent a pirate record for most strikeouts by a right-hand pitcher with 210, beating the previous record held by A.J. Burnett. It's the 1-1 from Keller. Swinging a ground ball to second base. Triolo gobbles it up, throws to first base. Two quick outs here in the fifth for Keller. Shaw's and Star Market present Norwegian Prime Salmon Filets. Now on sale. You can get it today for just $8.97 a pound when you use the digital coupon. Shaw's and Star Market, the official supermarket of the Red Sox radio network. Aaron Boone's probably bringing some home. <laughs> Got to find one first. William Abreu steps up to the plate. He's one for one. He drew a walk in the third. It's in there for a strike. The old one from Keller. So change up down and away. He misses it there. Subaru scoreboard. Subaru New England. Love Spring event is here. Drive away in a brand new 2024 Subaru. Find your authorized Subaru retailer of Subaru of New England.com. As you mentioned earlier, the Yankees lost in 10 2 0 to the Rays. Here's a 1 1 pitch. Swing, and that's a ground ball foul. A couple other finals. The Minnesota Twins took down the Detroit Tigers 4 3, and the Marlins. Got to win. They beat the Cubs 3-2. to two. The Orioles play out in Kansas City later on tonight. There's one, two. That's missed with the fastball up. And Toronto's out west. They're going to play San Diego tonight. 840. 2-2 two -two count here. Two outs. Top of the fifth. Here it is. Swinging and a miss. Abreu chases a fastball up, and he is retired. And Mitch Keller's finding a groove here since that first inning. We're going to head to the bottom of the fifth. Red Sox still leading this one 2-1. to one. You listen to Red Sox baseball on the Shaw's in Star Market. WEI, Red Sox Radio Network. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry, all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You've got questions? O'Reilly Auto Parts has answers. Need a pro you can trust? We've got that too. No matter what you need, our professional parts people have the training and expertise to help you do things right. Deep automotive knowledge. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. New England homeowners know metal roofs are strong protection for their homes. Resisting high winds, ice dams, rust, moss, and lichen. Plus, snow slides right off. As New England's largest residential metal roofing company, East Coast Metal Roofing has no supply issues. We can install year-round with a lifetime warranty and lifetime workmanship. Spring into savings with 0% financing and 10% off your total roof replacement. East Coast Metal Roofing, the official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. It's Alex Cora. This is the home of the Sox. W-E-E-I. Michael Taylor steps in for the Pirates here to lead off the bottom of the fifth, trailing this one 2-1. to one. Swing and miss at a cutter. It's going to be top of the order, Olivares and Reynolds. This is the Herb Chambers batting order here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the 0-1. That ball is driven deep to left field, but this one's hooking foul. Taylor got all of that one. It's a little hanging sweeper. 
from Cutter Crawford. And that sweeper's been getting hit. Been leaving it up. Bart, I think, got him. And Triolo got him as well. Sticking with that fastball cutter. Here's the 0-2. There's another fastball driven to right center field. That's going to drop in there for a single as Ref Schneider. Gets in front of it, flips it to Valdez. And Taylor leads off the fifth with a knock. I don't think that was the 0-2 pitch that Cutter Crawford was looking for. His 60th pitch of the night. It was just a fastball kind of middle-middle. Didn't get it up out of the zone. And I'm going to pitch himself out of another leadoff single here from Taylor. It's going to bring up the leadoff guy, Edward Olivares, who singled off Crawford in the third. Taylor can still run a little bit. Here's a pitch. Swing, and that's a line drive. Is it going to stay up for Abreu in left field? Yes, he makes a beautiful dive and catch in left field. At first, he broke back and then realized this ball was sinking, recovered well, and made a beautiful dive and play to his right to rob Oliveras of a single, get Taylor back to first base. Really nice play by Abreu, who's been kind of going back and forth. A lot of right field, left field here. Especially in Pittsburgh with Ref Schneider out and right. Kind of accustomed to playing right field. Going to get used to how the ball comes off that bat, especially off a of righty. It's going to kind of hook to that corner. And he recovered really well and made a beautiful catch out and left. And that's going to bring up Brian Reynolds, who was one for two on the day. First pitch is in there by him at 93. Four seam fastball. The lights on the first base side. Kind of now in the infield, beyond second base and right in front of right field, Ref Schneider. Here's the 0-1. That's a swing and a miss on a split. Not sure that's where he wanted it either, but that was a split up out of the zone that got Reynolds to offer at it. Either way, got no two count. Timeout is called there from Brian Reynolds. Richard Reynolds absolutely tore up the Red Sox last year. Three-game sweep early in April. Went seven for 12, two doubles, three homers in just three games. Did a huge role in that sweep early in the season. Right after the Red Sox took two out of three from Baltimore to open up the season last year. Here's the 0-2 from Crawford. He holds and delivers. Let the split down and just misses. Shadow's coming into play a little bit. Bobby Dalbeck is in the shade at first base. As is Reese McGuire. It's kind of like a straight line, about 10, 15 feet inside that foul line, all the way down the right field side. Crawford's still in the sun. It's not fun for a hitter. Here's the one two. That's a cutter missed down and in. Talked to Cora before the game about Cutter Crawford. Came in stronger in the offseason. One thing they noticed last year, he wasn't getting deep in the games, and a lot of that had to do with his stuff falling off. Pitches 70 to 95, his stuff just wasn't the same. So he felt like he's got a better stuff longer in the games here so far. Here's a cutter, hook down that line. That's going to be fouled on the right field corner. But the stuff is playing beyond 70, 75 pitches. Carter went six in his first outing out in Seattle. He came back with only four and two-thirds against the Angels. Had three walks in that one. Four walks in Baltimore as he went five. But the last outing was really good. Five and two-thirds scoreless. No walks against Cleveland. Here's the 2-2 pitch. That's going to be fastball lined in the left field. Abreu kind of comes up throwing. He tries to throw behind the runner at first base to get Taylor. He gets back safely, though. Well, he continues to hit Crawford. Yeah, he sure does. Cutter in a little bit more trouble here in the fifth. Been a lot of traffic last, especially in that fourth and fifth inning. He escaped only one run. That leadoff double in the fourth by Hayes. He's up at the plate right now here with one out, first and second. Reynolds is on first. Michael A. Taylor is on second. Pitch count's good. For Cutter Crawford. Still only at 66 pitches. 68, I should say now. 50 of them strikes. Only 18 balls, pretty good percentages. Reese McGuire and Bobby Dahlbeck meet in the mound. Have a little chat with Cutter Crawford, give him a breather.
Today's Red Sox code word of the game is Allegheny River. You can make sure to enter your code word in the member portal today to claim your points. I got to spell it right, too. Allegheny River. A-L-L-E-G-H-E-N-Y. Well, what do we got here? Umpires want to meet and greet. In the middle of the field. Not sure what this is about. DJ Rayburn stepped out in front of home plate, brought all four up umpires just to the right of Cutter Crawford. He's kind of peeking in, listening, trying to figure out what this is all about. I don't see the manager complaining. Not quite sure what we're doing. Brian Honor is looking out to the outfield. Yeah, they're looking out to the outfield, almost to the scoreboard as if something's going on there. He puts his finger up. Well, the scoreboard reads two outs is the problem. And there's only one out here in this inning. And as a player, I know sometimes you peek up there just to remind yourself, but you should know how many outs there are, aren't you? Anyways, the 0-0 pitch to Cabrian Hayes. He's going to miss inside with a fastball. They did all that just to... It's correct the scoreboard. The scoreboard? Yeah. Oh. The 1 0. That's going to miss it down with a cutter at 88 miles an hour. Umpires do have an indicator. Yeah. They click balls and strikes. And outs. I used to carry one because. My first year, we went to the Oakland Coliseum. Charlie Finley didn't pay his bills, and the scoreboard wasn't working. So you had to carry an umpire's a little umpire's clicker? indicator. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in forever. Cutter falling behind 2-0 here to Brian Hayes, the third baseman, who doubled off him in that fourth inning. Ended up scoring a run. Long set here from Cutter. I thought that was quite a statement by John Wainer, the color analyst, former infielder. He said this is the best third baseman he's ever seen yeah. defensively. Been around the game a long time, too, to say something like that. Got to come set. Keep an eye on Taylor at second base. Gives him another look. Second look. Now he comes home, and he misses with a cutter up. Cutter in some trouble here. 3-0 count. Sox clinging to this one-run lead. It's 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the fifth. Jack Sawinski is on deck. Left-handed hitter. See if Hayes has the green light. Here's the 3-0. He does. Fastball swing and a miss. Actually, it was a good cutter from Crawford. Never giving in. That's baseball in 2024. Surprised he chased that. Because yeah. Then again, you can make fun of the cutter there, but if it was a fastball laced in the gap, You'd be asking why he didn't throw a cutter. <laughs> Here's a 3-1. There's another one. Front door cutter. That's in there for a strike. That one froze him. He's had that pitch all day. In on righties. Starts it in off the plate. Comes back. Gets the corner. See if he goes back to it. It's been good for him. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Runners hold. And that's going to miss up for ball four. Ooh, a sweeper. Well, what's the difference between a sweeper and a slurve? Not, Not much. much. Well, if you played back, Andrew Bailey's going to go out and have a chat with the rest of the infield. But back in my day, it was a slurve. You know, now the sweeper, they define it on horizontal movement. It stays on the same plane longer. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Booney ever played with him, but remember Jeff Nelson? Sure, yeah. That's a sweeper. It was filthy, but we just called it a slurve. Right? Hard sinker down and in. Slurvy breaking ball down and away. Yeah, at 6 8, looks like it's coming right at you. Man. With that angle. I'll never forget that. First time I ever faced him, Val pulled me aside and said, Lou, if it, it looks like it's going to hit you, that's the one you want to swing at. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for him to say when he's throwing 98. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Mike, thanks. Appreciate it. I'll try to take that advice, Val. And, and by the way, if, it, if it's not the slider, what do I do? He's like, wear it in your hip, go to first. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Well, Cutter's in a little bit of a jam here. We got one out, bottom of the fifth. Bases are loaded. 
Taylor is on third. Reynolds on second. Hayes on first. Jack Sawitzki, left-handed hitter up, is the first pitch. It's in there for strike one. Sawitzki came into this one 180, down to 175. Does have a couple of home runs. 26 last year, so he's dangerous. Here's the old one pitch. He's going to miss with a cutter up. Even the count, one and one. Outfield straight up. Reyes slid over a little bit at third base. Rafael right up the middle. Valdez, that is now double play depth for second basemen's versus lefties, which is pretty much normal. There's 1-1. One, one. Cutter chopped into the ground. Get ahead, one and two. Before the game, Alex Cora saying that he, the plan is to have Tyler O'Neill and Rafael Devers ready to go Tuesday. They got an off day on Monday. We'll expect either of them in there tomorrow. Tuesday, hopefully both will be back. Here's the one-two pitch. That swing just got a piece of it, fouled it back. But now we don't know about Casas. Still waiting on word from Casas. If you're just joining us, left the game in the bottom of the first. He walked in the first inning, ran the bases, ended up on third, and then came out in the bottom half. Still haven't got word on that. Here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him with a good sweeper, it looked like. Down and in at 82 miles an hour. He was cutting them in. Took a little something off it at 82. And got Sawinski to swing over. That's a big out for Cutter Crawford. Catcher Joey Bart. Joey Bart now steps up to the plate. He's one for one in the day with a walk. Swinging it real early here early on. Five for 11 in the season. Here's the first pitch. It's a missed with a cutter down and away. It's one thing Cutter's been really doing well. Not getting hit much, but he has had a couple outings where he's had three or four walks, but limiting the damage. This would be fantastic if he's able to get out of this one. Here's the 1-0. That's in there for a strike. That's a four-seamer at 93. wonder if this could be it for him. Well, the bullpen has been busy with left-handed action. Well, looks like Joely Rodriguez getting loose. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Now he misses with that. Fastball in. Cutter wondering where that pitch was. Asking DJ Rayburn, was it down? It wasn't down. If anything, it might have been in. This is a 2-1 pitch to Bart. That's a foul into that Pittsburgh dugout. Even to count 2-2. Two and two. It's a sweeper at 81. Red Sox still really haven't named a starter for tomorrow. Everything was kind of pointing to Josh Winkowski maybe getting the start, seeing how long he could go. Well, but maybe Cooper Criswell. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. He got him. Cutter Crawford gives a, a scream on the mound as he punches out the last two guys to get out of that without giving up a run. And the Red Sox hold on to that 2-1 lead. We're going to head to the 60. Listen to Red Sox baseball on the Shaws and Star Market. WEI Red Sox Radio Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable Easy Wash Oven Tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. If you're looking for the most epic place on Earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Check engine light on? Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. 
Hi, this is Liam Hendricks. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox, WEEI. We're head to the top of the sixth inning. Rob Refschneid is going to lead off as Mitch Keller, followed by Reyes and Yoshida. Here's the first pitch in there to Ref Schneider. It's in there for a strike. Herb Chambers batting order is sponsored by Herb Chambers, Honda Seekonk, and Honda Westboro. Mitch Keller has been cruising since the first inning. He's really settled down. He misses with a sinker up and in. He's retired 13. A couple of walks mixed in there, but nothing since that Yoshida single. Five hitters into this game. Here's the 1-1. Chill check swing foul ball off to the Red Sox dugout. Andy Fox walks over, picks it up. You miss a big presence without Casas in there. You know, no, no O'Neal, no Devers. And when Costas isn't in there, it is glaring. Here's the one-two to Ref Schneider. He misses with a fastball away. Shadows now really moving towards that home mound. About halfway from home plate to the mound. Never fun for hitters. It's a two-two pitch to Rob. He misses down and away. Red Sox baseball brought to you by New England Ford dealers. Now during truck month, you can get a deal on a Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 47 years straight in the official truck of your Boston Red Sox. Just 70 pitches for Keller. Yeah, he's been cruising. He threw 22 pitches in that first inning. Just 48 cents. Some easy innings here for Mitch. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing, that's a ground ball to Hayes. He gobbles it up, sets his feet, throws across the diamond in time to get Ref Schneider. Here's the word from the Red Sox clubhouse on Casas' left rib discomfort. That's why he left the game. Left rib discomfort. I'm not sure what that is. Doesn't say a lot. It's better than using the word oblique. The question is, are they just sort of hiding that? Because the oblique is something that you miss weeks upon weeks with that. That's not good. Pablo Reyes, the man that came in for Tristan Casas, steps in here with one out in the sixth. Sox still leading this one two to one. Here's the pitch from Keller. It's in there for a strike. We'll cut her at 86. Well, anything in your midsection has to affect the swing. Here's the 0 1, misses down and away. Keller, you mentioned last year going into the season, signed that five year, $77 million deal. I Made mean, his first All Star game last July. Then really struggled in the second half. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Misses down and away. In his last 13 starts, he went 4-5 and five with a 5-5-9 five, five, ERA. That's not the numbers he put up in the first half to earn that all-star bid. Here's the 2-1. Swing, that's a ground ball foul. Pass Kyle Hudson down third base. Came into this one with a 4.5 ERA, though he has pitched better. Coming into his last couple against Detroit and Philly, only gave up a couple of runs, went six and seven innings. And today here is in the sixth and still has given up a couple of runs. This is a 2-2 pitch. He misses with that sweeper. So for the second time here in the sixth, we get to the full count. Only up to 76 pitches, though. Not much action there. Not much action in the Red Sox pen as well. Crawford at 84. Here's the pitch, 3-2 pitch, misses down and away, and Pablo Reyes gets on with the one-out walk. Crawford's had 83 pitches. Joely Rodriguez was up last inning, so might be a situation where you don't get up until you give out two outs because he's already hot, but he went 92 pitches his last outing against Cleveland, 86 against Baltimore, 90 against L.A., and only needed 84 to get through six against the Mariners, so... They try to get some extra, get an out or two, maybe a quick inning from him in the sixth. Joey Bart out to talk to Mitch Keller. Give him a little bit of a breather. You mentioned no action in that pirate bullpen. Going to bring up Masataka Yoshida, who swung the bat real well here today. In the first, he laced a single to right field, hit it so hard that Ref Schneider wasn't able to score on it, was held up at third, and then lined out to Telez. In the third. Here's the pitch. Swing and there's a drive fly ball right center. This ball is deep. It's going back, going back, still going back. It's gone. Masataka Yoshida got a ball up in the air and drove it out of PNC ballpark as the Red Sox 
extend the lead to four to one. That is his second home run of the season. It's a two run shot off Mitch Keller. And that's good to see Masataka Yoshida swinging the bat real well all day here, Joe. There must be a wind tunnel out there because we've seen balls that didn't look like they're going to quite go that far, leave the yard. Ref Schneider last night and now this ball. We also kind of looking at Reynolds out there in right field and this ball ended up about 10 rows into that right center corner. But he was sort of drifting to it with this idea that maybe he was going to catch up to it and it just kept going. I just keep getting home runs. <laughs> Brings up Bobby Dahlbeck. 29 home runs for the Red Sox. Two behind the Orioles to lead baseball. Yeah, 29 home runs. 19 of those home runs are solo. So it's nice to see guys on base. Had a little crooked number up there. 0-2 count here to Dahlbeck. There's a swing and a miss on a fastball up, and he is down on strikes. But Masataka Yoshida, we mentioned it coming into the game yesterday. Right around that 65, 70 at bat, 16, 17 game mark last year was that series in Milwaukee. Well, really, that turned his season around early on. Had a monster series out there, and right around that same area. So he's swinging the bat well here today. Here's Valdez. First pitch is a fastball. Nips the inside corner. Third home run. Keller's allowed this year 24. Five for last season. That ball's laced down the right field corner. Foul. Valdez falls behind 0 and 2. Masataka Yoshida, second home run of the season. Tenth RBI. That's three barrels he found here today, and that is good to see. Especially with the news of Casas' rib cage injury he has. There's a line drive to right field. 0-2 knock for Emmanuel Valdez. He keeps the inning alive. Well, he's at the ball hard in this series. He sure has. He leaned all over that one. And once again, not the 0-2 delivery that Mitch Keller was thinking. He was looking to try to get this thing out of half and elevate it. He left it in her half, and Valdez just smoked it to right field. Here's Reese McGuire. He's 0 for 2. Bounced into a 3 6 1 double play his last time up. Shadows now splitting the mound. First pitch, it's in there for a strike. Fastball still sitting there, 93. Keller not losing much velocity here in the sixth inning. 85 pitches. Here's the old one to Reese. That's a check swing. Did he hold up? We checked down the third. Paul Clemens said yes, he did hold up. Evens kind of one and one. Well, Reese was hot on the road. Cooled off a little bit in the homestand. That's when Connor Wong got hot. So these two kind of bouncing back and forth. Cool, really riding a hot hand regardless of righty lefty pitcher. Here's a foul straight back. Reese was 8 for 24 with two home runs. 333 average on that 10 game road trip. And then just 3 for 16 at home. 10 game homestand for a 188 average. But he is 6 for 11 with two outs, which is what we have here in the top of the sixth. 1 2 pitch from Keller as he throws over to check on Valdez first. See down Rafaela on deck. Former first round pick of these Pittsburgh Pirates was Reese back in 2013. He went 14th overall. Later traded to the Blue Jays before he even made it to the majors while he was in the minors. One two pitch. Swing and there's a fly ball to left field. He's just going to shoot the gap. But no, Sawinski runs this thing down. That ball was slicing to the left fielder, which kind of allowed Sawinski to get underneath it and retire Reese McGuire. But on a two run shot from Masataka Yoshida, the Red Sox extend the lead. It's now four to one as we head to the bottom of the sixth. You listen to the Red Sox baseball in the Shaw's and Star Market, Red Sox Radio Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. 
So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, goal, or attending one live, goal! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable Easy Wash Oven Tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. If you're looking for the most epic place on Earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You've got questions? O'Reilly Auto Parts has answers. Need a pro you can trust? We've got that too. No matter what you need, our professional parts people have the training and expertise to help you do things right. Deep automotive knowledge. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Red Sox review after the game on 93.7 WEEI. Cutter Crawford back out there for the sixth. The first pitch to Rowdy Telez is in there for a strike. It'll be Telez, Triolo, and Cruz. As the Herb Chambers batting order here in the bottom of the sixth. Cutter came into this inning 83 pitches. Trying to give you a little bit of length. Maybe get through that sixth inning. Here's the first pitch. Second pitch, I should say. Fly ball, shallow left field. Abreu's going to get underneath it. He's going to make the catch. And Telez be the first out here in the bottom of the sixth. Well, I'm sure Alex would love to see a nice little quick inning here from Cutter Crawford. Looks like Greg Weissert is now up in the bullpen. Joely Rodriguez was up last inning. Probably a lot for that man who just got up. Rowdy Telez, he might have been a hitter away from being pulled in this game. But he got him. He got one up. And now brings up Triolo. He's in there for a strike. First pitch. A little sweeper at 80 miles an hour. Triolo drove in the only run here for the Pirates back in the fourth. His single up the middle scored could Brian Hayes. Here's the 0-1, another cutter in there for a strike. Red Sox still haven't announced. Again, tomorrow's starter. I don't believe. I think Winkowski may get it. Cooper Criswell may give you a couple, so you want to keep that bullpen as fresh as you can. Crawford can give you one more. It'd be beautiful. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That's a sweeper. Or cutter, rather. Landing about two feet short of home plate. Masataka's Yoshida's home run went 395 feet. 100.1 exit velocity off the bat. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Just down. Missed with a cutter. His 89th pitch here for Crawford. Getting the season high for Cutter Crawford. Came in his last out against 92 pitches. A Yankee loss. Aaron Judge fanned four times. He's yet to get it going. Yeah, it's a good split down. I'm going to swing and a miss from Jared Triolo. It's Cutter Crawford showing off that split fingered fastball. This is now his fifth strikeout of the game. More hits than we're used to seeing from Cutter Crawford, but. Can't pitch all year long, only giving up two or three hits a start. Five and two-thirds at this point. Seven hits, only one run, two walks, five Ks. Brings up shortstop O'Neal Cruz. He's going to take strike one. It's another cutter in there at 89 miles an hour. That cutter usage is really kind of climbing here in these last couple of innings. Four-seam fastball using a lot for a couple middle innings. Here's the pitch. Good split. Swing and a miss from Cruz. Got a lot of swing and misses on that cutter. Seven swing and misses on 15 swings from the cutter. 
three on the splitter. Only six swings. So there's a lot of swing and miss there with those two pitches. Here's the 0-2. He tried again with a slider. No down and in. O'Neill didn't bite. O'Neill back dropped down to that eighth spot in the order. After hitting the leadoff for so many games in a row here for the Pirates. Cutter misses with that splitter to get the count even at two and two. Derek Shelton probably just trying to take some heat off him, get him in that bottom third of the order. Trying to see if they can get him right down there. Hitting just 217. Does have three home runs. Here's the 2 2 from Crawford. It's a fastball just missed. That could have been strike three. Yeah, it was off the plate. A little backdoor cutter actually at 89. Crawford completely in the shadows now as it delivers to O'Neill. Full count here. Two outs in the bottom of the sixth. And he misses with a cutter at 90 miles an hour. Looks like Cora's is on the top step, and that may do it for Cutter Crawford. We'll see. Ballas gets out there and points to that bullpen, and this is going to be a conversation. He hasn't pointed yet. The left hand is out for Alex Cora as if he's talking to him, and he's going to leave him out there. I want to go out there for a little chat. You hear that little hop going out there, usually when he's going to pull a pitcher that's a little slower walk? Right, yeah. It's almost like he went out there, and I mentioned that left hand was up in the air like, hey, what do you want to, you know, not what do you want to do, but how are you feeling? Be honest with me as Michael Taylor steps up. He's going to leave him out there. Try to finish off this sixth inning. Cutter Crawford now sitting at 97 pitches. O'Neal Cruz on first. Michael A. Taylor at the plate. Sox leading this one 4-1. to one. There's a swing and a miss on a cutter. Yeah, I think this for sure is his last batter. And, you know, not bad either. You could give him a little breather. You see that a lot. Catches go out there. Or the pitching coach go out there. Let him know it's your last hitter. Give him a little breather. Give it everything you got for one guy. Here's the old one pitch. There's another cutter up and away. Taylor lays off that one. If anyone deserves a victory, it's Carter. <laughs> yeah. Neil Cruz, he's one for one in stolen bases this year. He's on first, two outs here in the sixth. Here's the one-one pitch from Crawford. Cruz takes off, but McGuire drops the ball on that swing and miss on a sweeper to Taylor. Good jump by O'Neill. Bad pitch to throw on. A little sweeper at 80 miles an hour down and away that. McGuire just could not get a handle on. Actually had to pick that ball in the dirt. It's a 1-2 count here to Taylor. Crawford trying to finish off this sixth inning. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. He got him with the sweeper at 82. And Cutter Crawford gets through six innings. Is in line for his first win of the season. We're going to head to the seventh inning with the Red Sox leading this one 4-1. to one. You're listening to Red Sox Baseball on the Shaw's Installed Market, WEI Red Sox Radio Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable easy wash oven tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. If you're looking for the most epic place on Earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. 
The Secrets Oat for nourishing your sensitive skin. Avino's daily moisturizing body wash and lotion routine gives you two times the moisture in two easy steps, thanks to both nourishing oat formulas. Step one, lather on the daily moisturizing body wash in the shower. Then step two, layer on Avino's daily moisturizing body lotion for 24 hours of clinically proven hydration. Reveal softer, smoother, healthier looking skin. Shop Avino now at Target. It's Alex Cora. This is the home of the stocks. W-E-E-I. Seventh inning, 401 Red Sox. This copyrighted broadcast by the now authority of the Boston Red Sox may not be reproduced, retransmitted in any form. Counts and descriptions may not be disseminated without the express written consent of WEEI and the Boston Red Sox. Ball one missing from the new pitcher, Luis Ortiz, to Sedan Rafael, who's grounded out 5 3 and 6 3. Pitcher swung on foul straight back. Keller went six innings, five hits, four runs, all earned, four walks, four Ks. The two runs in the first, no hits until the sixth when Yoshida hit a two-run homer. The pitch to Raffaella is a check swing. Did he go? No, says the umpire at first. The Red Sox have a Luis Ortiz, their hitting coach. <laughs> no relation, though both are from the Dominican Republic. This right-hander is from the great baseball city of San Pedro de Macari, the pitch. Grounded foul to the backstop. This Ortiz, one and one in six games with a 482 ERA. 4 1 Red Sox in the seventh. Ortiz, a burly right hander, deals. And there's a ground ball hit softly, charged by the third baseman. And the throw in time by Hayes. He's very smooth. Yeah, he is. It was really good. Internal clock, as they say, is infielders. Even though Rafaela runs real well, hey, he's just a nice little rhythm. All in stride. Gets him by that step. Yeah, here's Duran, who opened the game with a near home run, triple high off the wall in right center, and scored on an infield. It grounded out 3 1 and 4 3. Pitch is a breaking ball strike over the outer half. Our Subaru of New England scoreboard, the Subaru of New England Love Spring event is here. Drive away in a new Subaru. Subaru of New England.com. Yankees lose 2 0 to Tampa Bay in 10 innings. It was scoreless through nine. And Caballero hit a ball over the head of Verdugo playing in center field. They just called, uh, I think, a ball on the pitcher. Yeah. Well, pitch violation. Yeah. One and one. You don't see many of them anymore, which is a good thing. A little low and away. He hoped that, you know, in another year or two, yeah, granted the pitch clock will be up there, but it won't be a factor. It's going to be part of this routine. Everyone's going to get used to it to where it never really is in play anymore. Guys coming up for the minors so know how to handle it. Foul around the batter's box. It might hit the umpire on the foot. Milwaukee rolled over St. Louis 12-5. to Beat them last night one nothing. Miami over the Cubs, 3-2. to two. That was a final. Twins, 4. Detroit, 3. That one's over. Caught that nice Boris game last night. Jordan Montgomery out dueled Blake Snell. Montgomery looked good in his first outing. Snell's been struggling in his first three. Pitch is grounded weakly. Stabbed by the pitcher. Nicely on the right of the mound. Underhand flip to first for the out. I should say formally Scott Boris as Jordan Montgomery moved on from Scott Boris. Apparently wasn't happy with how free agency went. And not sure how many of them could have been. Did he let him go before he after. signed with Texas? After he signed with Arizona. Yeah, after, after Arizona, I mean, yeah. yeah. He was probably surprised he was on the market that long. Here's a Brayu had an RBI dribbler for a base hit. And he hits this one in the air down the left field line. Slice foul. It's going to land on the track. Not high enough to be caught by an infielder. You know, you just see the Bray who kind of swing at the last couple of days, and you're thinking, okay, if Tuesday you get O'Neill and Devers back, back with Casas, Refschneider's in the house, Abreu swinging it, you put Duran, you start putting it all together. And then you get the news of Tristan Casas leaving after the first inning, and the word is left rib discomfort. Which doesn't really tell you much. No. 
One and one. Pitch. That is a little bit low. The seventh inning sponsored by Sherwin-Williams. The exclusive Sherwin-Williams Pro Plus program will help you grow and manage your paint business. The 2-1, the Brayu takes it wide. That's the thing with the Brayu. You know, there's a lot of swing and miss, but one thing he can do is control the zone. He makes right decisions, and if he could just shorten up that stroke, fix those things mechanically, then you're talking about a very dangerous hitter. And he takes one inside, ball four. He's very disciplined, as you say. Yeah, he is. And last year, we saw the damage that we've seen more of here in the last week or so with the walks. Fix that mechanically, barrel the baseball more, cut down the swing and miss. I think he can turn into the guy that they think he is. Luis Ortiz. Last year was 5-5 five and five in 18 games as a starter. First pitch to Ref Snyder's low and away ball one. He's bounced into a force that should have been a double play. Up, wound up costing them a run. Then he struck out, grounded out 5-3. Runner at first, two down. See if Abreu might do some running. Had a right-hander on the mound, but a strong throwing catcher with a quick release. Pitch is outside. Stay tuned after the game of the Nissan post-game show. You deserve a car that thrills. Nissan's got an exciting full line that'll put goosebumps on your goosebumps. So we get a pitching coach visit. Shop your local Nissan store at NissanUSA.com today. Keller on the hook. And Crawford's game to win as he went six strong innings. Officially still in the game, but right around 100 pitches. Almost certain that he won't come back. You know, one run, seven hits. Walk three and fanned six. All right. Conference over. And the young right-hander ready to deliver. 6'2", 235. A 2-0 pitch coming to ref. He takes wide. Miss with a sinker at 96. Miss badly. And all of a sudden, Ortiz kind of losing it here. He Face Rafael, who's kind of that free swinger, but then you got a guy like Abreu and Ref now are going to force him in the zone, and it's been seven straight balls. Came up through the Pirates Dominican Academy. Ortiz did, and he misses badly. Down and away with ball four, a sinker at 95. So, after retiring the first two, he's walked the pair. And here is Reyes. And this is the Tristan Casas spot. But last time up, Reyes walked and walked home on the two-run homer by Yoshida. He also struck out his other at bat. Casas drew a walk in the first. Got to third where he was stranded and soon left the game with left rib discomfort. Got to take here, I believe. First pitch he does take, and again, it's low and away. That was a slider. That's now nine straight. Actually threw a strike first pitch to Abreu, but then it was four straight, four straight to ref. And he hasn't been close. No, no, no. He's yanking these things in that left-handed batter's box. Good sex with a 4-1 lead. Love to extend it here. The pitch to Pablo. Instead, he steps off and looks the runner back to second. Nobody covering. Right fielders in the shadows. Other outfielders with bright sun, especially the left fielder. Pitch home. Again, he misses down and away. Ten in a row. Yeah. You don't get the take call too often in the big leagues. It's normally, hopefully, these guys kind of understand the game, but i got to believe this is either understood or you're taking here. That's he ten can, straight. Not even close. You guys swinging so well in your sheet next. A 2-0. Strike. He got it in there. Sinker at 95. Pretty much down the middle. Two balls, one strike, two out, two on, seventh inning. 
Great Sox enjoying a 4-1 lead. Luis Ortiz delivers. And a ground ball hits softly left side. Charged by Bryant. Get Bryant, that is. And he throws to first. Hayes gets his man. That retires the side. Stretch time for these Pirate fans here. It's 5 Four for the Red Sox, one for the Pirates. As we go to the bottom of the seven on the Shaws and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable easy wash oven tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. If you're looking for the most epic place on earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Hey, it's Reese McGuire. This is the home of the Sox. W-E-E-I. Probably Red Sox had a Chris Martin here in the seventh inning. Probably low because the top of the orders do. Yeah, that's why. he's a, Chris Martin's the seventh, eighth inning floater. That's what he is. You know, if there's no reason to save him for the eighth if the middle of the lineup is coming up in the seventh. So, you know, one, two, three, very dangerous hitter, especially with Reynolds. Batting second in this order, this is the spot for him. Oliveris leading off. He's gone at a third single to the line to left. First pitch from Chris. Runs down and in ball one. He had the one bad outing and then sat out a few days with a sore shoulder. So the ERA is 4 5 0, but not representative of how he's pitched overall. His ninth appearance, he's 1 and 1. 4 1 Boston, the pitch in there for a strike. You know, numbers with relievers are skewed, especially early on in the year. I always look at performances, right? Like yeah. nine outings, he's been really good in eight of them. One bad outing, that ERA is what it is, but it's more about how many legit outings he swings and misses at a pitch up and away at Carter at 92 as Oliver leads off the Herb Chambers batting order sponsored by Herb Chambers Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Danvers and Milbury one two pitch to this right hand batter the tall righty fires leaves it a little bit low he's still kind of working his way into it as well remember you only had four outings in camp Eight appearances here so far this year, but he's looked sharp at times. Foul to the right out of play. Kind of a tough year what he was. I mean, he was one of the best relievers in baseball. I hit him. And, and it was just, for a guy that pounds the zone as a hitter, you they can be aggressive, but you never get good pitches to hit. Like, he pounds the edges of strikes. Two balls, two strikes to Oliveris. He takes a little inside. Charleston Star Market present Norwegian Prime Salmon Filets now on sale. $8.97 a pound with a digital coupon. Charleston Star Market, official supermarket of the Red Sox Radio Network. Here's the payoff. And he fouls it to the right out of play, waiting on a 93-mile-an-hour cutter. Going to that cutter a lot more this year. Coming into this game, about 54%. Last year, it was 44. A little less four-seam fastballs this year than we saw from Chris last year. Split usage is about the same. Another 3-2 pitch upcoming. Here it is. And a ground ball bounce left side. Charged by Raffaella. Throws low and picked by Dahlbeck. Picked by Bobby on his... 
short hop throw, one down. Yeah. Here's Nice play by Rafi. Comes in, kind of slow roller. Comes in on the run, makes that throw, and it was in the dirt. But it's one of those right in front of the first baseman. The first baseman should be able to pick that. And Bobby does a nice job playing very confidently defensively. His doll back. There's Reynolds. Single to right, fly to center. Single to left. And he takes a fastball, high ball one. Red Sox walked him last night. When he went 0 for 2. But he's 14 for 28 against them. That's 500. Yeah. That's a lot of at bats to hit 500. Well, I think last night, Bayo just sort of chose because he didn't really come close. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk a pitch to everybody else. And today he's got a couple of singles. You'll take that. Not much damage there. 2 0 pitch coming. Here it is. And he ties him up inside, a swing and a miss. Good cut action of that pitch at 92. So I said, never trail. They got two in the first. Two more on the home run by Yoshida in the sixth. Little inside, mm. very close. Good pitch. I think Chris wanted that one. Still in the Red Sox dugout. DJ Rayburn snapping over there real quick after that one, too. Talking to somebody in the Red Sox. I saw Shelton undress him earlier. He didn't do anything. <laughs> Just looked in there. Here's the pitch, and he swings and misses at a high delivery. So that runs the count full to Brian Reynolds. Give him a long-term contract. It's interesting, these positioning. Just saw Andy Fox gesture to Valdez take... Basically two steps, three steps to his right, more up the middle with two strikes. They've got it down, boy. That counts and everything. Where they want these guys. 3-2 from the set. Swing and a line drive, base hit in the right center. <laughs> Didn't move far enough over. No, no. <laughs> That was hit very hard. Well, Reynolds is 15 for 29 against the Red Sox. And again, in this one here, three for four, but you know what? Three singles. Keep him in the yard. Yeah, last year was it Fenway, two doubles, three home runs. And that kills you. Three knocks. Go pitch to everybody else. Now Cabrian Hayes was fly to right, double to right, and walked. One on, one out in the seventh. And there's a call strike. Cut her down and away. No balls, one strike. Martin deals. And another strike. Oh, that was a beauty. A sinker down and away. Hayes did not agree. He's the son of Charlie Hayes. Been around the club. Former Giants third baseman. And Yankee third baseman. Here's the 0-2, and he takes Ooh. a little bit low. That was close. It was. Here's a one two. Swinging a ground ball hit hard to short. Raphael at a second out. Valdez to first. They turn it over easily. Another double play. And Martin saves some bullets after seven. 4 1 Boston on the Shaw's and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Get our Spring Fest doorbusters while you can right now at Lowe's. Shop $5 spring cleaning must-haves from Scrub Daddy, Tide Simply, and more. Plus, save over $1,000 on the LG Smart Top Load laundry pair. Was $22.98, now $12.96. These limited time deals are going fast, so shop them in store and online today. Lowe's No Spring, Lowe's No Savings. Offer valid through 422. Appliances pricing includes all discounts while supplies last. If you're looking for the most epic place on earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. 
Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. With Secret Outlast, you can go for a jog and smell like you did it. With Secret Outlast, you can go for a jog in the middle of August and smell like you did it. With Secret Outlast, you can go for a jog in the middle of August and accidentally finish first in a fun run. We have a new winner. And smell like you didn't. With Secret Outlast, you can do anything life throws your way and smell like you didn't. Secret provides 72 hour odor protection. Available in sticks or sprays. Secret works. Hi, this is Von Grissom. You're listening to Home of the Red Sox, WEEI. Let's take a 10 second break on the Shaw Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. From the WEEI Studios, 93.7 WEEI FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Here is Yoshido's at a big game facing Ortiz in the eighth, 4 1 Red Sox. And the catcher wants to head to the mound for a visit here. Stay tuned to have the game, the Nissan post game show. You deserve a car that thrills, and Nissan's got an exciting full line that puts goosebumps on your goosebumps. Shop your local Nissan store at nissanusatoday.com. You know, there's a pitch com issue, or they're discussing how to work Yoshida, who in the first inning ripped a single to right, then lined a bullet at the first baseman in the third and unloaded a two-run homer, almost 400 feet to deep right center, his second of the year. And that came in the sixth inning for the third and fourth runs. Uh, Shelton, the manager, and the home plate umpire confer. It does, oh, wow. does appear to be a pitch com issue. The flex play of the game so far, you'd have to say the two-run homer by Yoshida. Looking to buy a car this season, try Flex Car instead. Flex Car's monthly car subscription includes insurance, maintenance, roadside assistance, and more. Go to FlexCar.com. The pitch is a strike over the inner half. Yeah, Yoshida, all hard hit balls. Even the line out to, to Les was 95 off the bat. The others 100 at exit velocity. There's a fly ball left field. Left fielder having trouble with the sun, and he dropped it. So Winsky dropped it, and into second is Yoshida. He got there. You could see the sun reflecting off his shades, and he was about eight feet in fair ground with a grass and track meet. Try to make a basket catch. And it went clank. We'll see how they scored. Yeah, it was interesting to see how they score that. I, but you could tell right from the beginning, Sawinski did not see this ball. Left field right now is very difficult. That sun is setting over that the first base side. And right from the beginning, he didn't get a good beat at it, wasn't running confidently at the ball and tried to make a basket catch in the slide. That should go as a double. Well, here's Dahlbeck. RBI chance, and he gets tied up inside, swing and a miss. Yeah, they gave it a clean double, so far at least. So that would give him a single home run and double. Bobby did get an RBI and a ground out. First time up, field his choice, going away. Lied to right and struck out. Well, they gave it an error. Oh, wow. I mean, that's battling the sun. He slid in dole for it, tried to basket catch it. He wasn't standing up. You could tell he was having trouble all the way. That's a double. There's a strike over the outer half. I mean, you know, if you're standing up and you drop it, that's one thing. But once you go into a slide, I don't know how you can assume that that's an easy play. Let me get that it fixed. was not an easy play with that sun. The one-two pitch to Bobby D. Here it comes. Swing and a miss at a high fastball. Ortiz blows him away. So he is now one for 26 this season. And for Ortiz, his first strikeout. He's pitched an inning in the third. Valdez coming along, fly to deep right, walked in single to right. Don't miss your chance to catch Hootie and the Blowfish when the summer camp with Trucks Tour rolls into Fenway Park Friday, June 21st. Special guests include Bare Naked Ladies, Collective Soul, and Edwin McLean. 
Buy your tickets today at RedSox.com slash Hootie. Ball one missing low, or strike one, I should say, at the knees. Borderline pitch. Ortiz works. And a low pitch grounded foul to the backstop. We're in the top of the eighth inning. Red Sox with a 4-1 lead trying to add to it. Luis Ortiz delivers home. Taken high. One and two, one out. You never get enough, Joe. Four to one, it kind of feels too comfortable. I'd like to add on, make it nice. He chases a high delivery, doesn't get it. Strike three, a high slider. Mm. Two down as Luis Ortiz gets his second strikeout. Yeah, it's just a feel like one of those games where four to one, it feels like it's eight to one. But it it's feels not. that way because they've yeah. stranded so many runners. They've left eight. Yeah, it's not. It's it's three run lead here in the eighth. I'd like to add on. The Pirates have out hit the Red Sox eight to five, but they stranded so many. Luis Ortiz delivers. Up and away ball one. The Red Sox, Luis Ortiz, is the first college graduate from the Dominican Republic to make the big leagues. What a great man he is. Isn't he? Wonderful what a guy. Great hitter he was, too. Legend. 1 0 is in there for a strike. Yeah, the Red Sox had him. Traded him with Texas. Was he your teammate along the way? No, I never played with him. He was always above me. Was there somebody you always kind of marvel at? You know, but. I don't know how many hits he's had in Triple A. It's one of those guys that you were just like, how does somebody not just give him a chance and stay with him for a few weeks? Because he could hit. Pitch on its way. It swung on and missed. Why roll for three? Pretty good fastball here for Ortiz at 95, but it's like it's playing up. Just tell by the reaction of the hitters that it's a good one with some carry. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. He swings and slices a foul to the left out of play. Four runs, only five hits for the Red Sox. One run, eight hits, and an error for the Buccos. Ortiz is ready to pitch. And that's low, knocked down by the catcher. Keeps it in front of him, no advance. Louis Ortiz got just 60 big league games. I wonder why did he get more of a shot. And hit 256 with two homers. This goes with the Dodgers and the Padres and the Rangers. Fink took a bite out of the catcher. It looks like it. Or just maybe having some issues with the pad or yeah, he keeps that pitch calm on that knee pad on the right side. I don't know if there was something broke off or wasn't working or uh, seems to be okay physically. Yeah. All right, one, two balls, two strikes, two out. We're trying to deliver another run here in the Herb Chambers batting order, sponsored by Herb Chambers Hyundai of Auburn. Ortiz with a long set delivers. Low and inside by his back foot, a hard slider missing. We'll see who comes on for the Red Sox in the bottom of the eighth. He's up to get six outs. 37 pitches for Luis Ortiz. And his payoff, pop foul again to the left out of play. It's tough to see from way up here <laughs> who yeah. that could possibly be. You know the Pirates bullpen is quiet. and It looks like Joelli. Looks like a lefty. Yeah, he was up in the sixth inning. Well, you got Sawitzki, Bart, Telez, so you got two out of three lefties. There's a swing and a drive. Hit pretty well to center field, but it's going to hang up. 
for the center fielder Taylor making the catch. He's very good out there. Red Sox leave a man at second after seven and a half. 4-1 Boston in the Shaw's and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. I'm at the nail salon. What? I'm at the grocery store. What? I'm at the combination nail salon and grocery store. Wait, she's at the nail salon and the grocery store? I'm at the combination nail salon and grocery store. Groceries through Instacart delivered to my door. I don't have to choose between acrylics and the grocery store. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry, all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. If you're looking for the most epic place on Earth... Let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Red Sox Review after the game on 93.7 WEEI. Jolie Rodriguez hoping to retire the side here. Retire the side brought to you by Azek Exteriors featuring new Azek bevel and shake siding engineered to deliver classic beauty but without all the maintenance. Visit azekexteriors.com. We move to the bottom of the eighth in the Herb Chambers batting order, and Joelle Rodriguez out to face Sowinski, Bart, and Telez. Well, Joelle has been a lot better. He had those tough outings, I believe, out in Seattle in that first few trips. He got off to a bad start, but he's been okay. His ninth appearance, 0 1 to 491 ERA. And he's going to face a pinch hitter here, Connor Joe. Right hand batting outfielder is going to pinch hit here for Sawinski. It was 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Sox now have three lefties out in that pen with Cam Boozer in his MLB debut last night. First pitch, a check swing strike over the outer half. And that's where Joelle has to live. You know, it's he's fastball's 89. You know, a few years back when the Sox signed him, he was the guy that coming in throwing 94 95. We never really saw it because of the injuries. That and one dips low and away off speed. And now this is kind of who he is, 89-90. He's got to you know, get ahead. That changeup right there at 84, he's got to kind of be able to pitch with it. That slider is very important for him to get over for strikes as well. Pitch to Joe, he's hit deep to left field, down the line, fair, it's gone, and it's a home run. A line drive that hooked around the pole, and Connor Joe is a pinch home run. For two Red Sox, Connor Joe. His second home run this year. Mm. Goes deep. He went up there at 276. Now he has two homers and 12 RBIs. Yeah, this is you know, that changeup we're talking about that he's got to kind of control. He wanted this thing out, and it just leaks in her half. And that at 84, you know, when your fastball is 85, changeup's 84, there's not much separation. And Joe just jumped all over that. This is what we're talking about just last half inning, Joe. Yeah. It's a four to one game. Kind of feels a little too comfortable. It's still a tight ball game here in the eighth. The two run lead now. Joe Bart, the catcher, single walked and struck out. He takes a strike over the inner half. And the Red Sox have right handed action. It is not Jansen. He's going to face three. It looks like McCutcheon will be out on deck. So he gets Sawinski and Telez out of the game. There's a breaking ball for a strike down and in. It looks like Weissert is going to get up. This may be one of those three-hitter minimums to get the Triolo, the righty, for Weissert. 
Here's the 0-2. And, uh, oh, that was close. I thought the umpire was going to go up with the right hand. He started to move as if he were, but it's a 1-2 count now. Rodriguez giving up a blast. Connor Joe home run the pitch. That's down and in back foot breaking ball. Two and two. They've out hit the Red Sox nine to six, but trail four to two. Solo home run by Connor Joe. Here it comes. And he waves it a pitch down and away. A change up strike three swinging. So Bart fans. Mm. And it's going to be McCutcheon, who has more home runs than anyone yeah, that's in this good. ballpark, 98. Good change up there from Joelle. you got to really forget about that leadoff home run. It's now a two-run ball game, and now you got to pitch to zeros. McCutcheon comes up. Still a fan favorite, this former National League MVP. And he takes a strike. He was hitless last night. I mean, McCutcheon, not the same player, obviously. You can beat him with Velo up. It just doesn't yeah. You just don't have that velo up here from Joelli. Pitch home, and he takes a strike, a high strike call. That was. See, they're trying. I mean, they see it. You know, you see some of his numbers from McCutcheon. He likes the ball down, doesn't want to really elevate. His hands are low. He kind of falls down to the ball, and then he can't rise back up to hit that high one. It was only 91. The pitch. That's up and away. Tried it again. Live up there. Even at 91, you can still get up there, get it above his barrel. One and two. If he reaches, Triolo represent the tying run. One-two pitch to Andrew McCutcheon, and he takes inside. This with a sinker. Bounced around after leaving the Pirates, but they brought him back last year. For a veteran presence, the pitch. And he takes low. Well, it was one and two. Now the string is out here. Try to get that change up just down off the plate. Couldn't give him the bite. Big pitch up coming. Here it is. And he swings and it's a high drive to left field. It's going to hook foul. Willier had no idea where this ball was. He lost it totally in the sun. It ended up foul by plenty. And not all that far. The shortstop went over. Yeah, Rafaela was the closest one to this, but the minute this ball was hit, William Abreu raised his arms in the air saying, I don't know where it is. That's a brutal sun feels. And, and that's one of those, if you're Duran and you're Rafael, you have to know it. Fly ball, you got to go out. Center nope. field's no picnic either. The pitch. Swinging a high drive deep to left, but this one looks foul. And it is. Might have had home run distance. Yeah, that, <laughs> that one there, Abreu had saw at least he ran towards it but he didn't run very confidently like he did don't hit it to me with that sun another three two pitch coming swing there's a bullet hit the deep left center over goes duran he's there and he makes the catch he was positioned well trying to hide delivery again the sinker at 89 he hit it pretty well but that's the second out and here comes alex cora so he'll bring in a right-handed to face Triolo as we come your way on the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. During this call to the bullpen, it's the perfect time to check out all the great content at buyfordnow.com. Find Ford offers you won't see advertised anywhere else. Search Ford dealer inventory for your dream vehicle. Compare Ford SUVs, trucks, and electric vehicles versus the competition. Calculate your trade-in value and learn about exclusive offers for military and first responders. So, visit BuyFordNow.com and then see your New England Ford dealers. Have you been putting off new windows for your home? Now is the time to visit CCL in Abington. We've partnered with Matthews Brothers in Maine to bring you the best in windows. Matthews Brothers has been making windows since 1854. Come check out our line of wicked awesome windows from Matthews Brothers at CCL in Abington. Make your home energy efficient in 2024 with Matthews Brothers windows. Check us out online at capecodlumber.com or visit the CCL showroom in Abington today. We are 100% employee owned and operated. Hey, it's Rob Rest Center. This is the home of the Sox, W-E-E-I. 
Greg White said the former Yankee takes over with two out in the eighth to face Jared Triolo, who has fly to center, singled, and struck out. Stay tuned after the game of the Nissan Post Game Show. You deserve a car that thrills. Nissan's got an exciting full line that'll put goosebumps on your goosebumps. Shop your local Nissan store or NissanUSA.com. Well, Weiser's been good. He's allowed one or zero hits in eight of the nine outings, stranded five of seven inherited runners. He was charged with, actually, no, he allowed that automatic runner to score in the 10th against Cleef. Got out there, gave up a couple of hits and a walk in extra innings. But he's throwing the ball real well for him. He's going to be fastball sinker. He's got that big sweeper, kind of that John Schreiber look to him. Two outs just trying to get the out here in the, in the eighth. Carroll's RBI single back in the fifth, broken 0 for 14 for him. He has one home run this year. Two out bases empty. The close stance, he faces third base, throws across his body, and leaves it away. Ball one. Rice with the former Yankee out of Fordham in the Bronx. That wind is blowing out right now. Here it comes. Breaking ball, strike. That sweeper's so big at 80 miles an hour. I mean, he just got to freeze that right-handed hitter. Throws it right at your hip. Rodriguez two-thirds of an inning, one run, one hit, one K. Here it is, low and away. Red Sox to the ninth will have Rafaela Duran in a Brayu schedule. Here it is, and a chopper foul over by the on deck hitter, who is the struggling O'Neill Cruz. Weiser ready for a 2 2 pitch. And Triolo hits it high to right field, right to Ref Snyder. Waits for it to come down, makes the play, and they settle for one. We go to the ninth, 4 2 Boston in the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable easy wash oven tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. If you're looking for the most epic place on Earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Who's in for Mohegan? Obviously everyone. It's an invitation that you can't ignore to experience a place that just feels different. Mohegan Sun, a place that welcomes you in, all in. For the flavors, the fun, the unbelievably unforgettable. Because you plus me plus Mohegan equals the best time ever. And what comes next is, well, everything. This is how it feels when you're all in for Mohegan. Mohegan Sun. Visit MoheganSun.com today to start your experience. Hey, it's Cutter Crawford. This is the home of the Sox. W-E-E-I. Changes. Connor Joe at the pinch home run stays in the game to play first. Brian Reynolds goes from right field to left field. Andrew McCutcheon, who pinch hit, is now in right field. And the new pitcher is Holderman, the right-hander. 
Colin Holderman takes over after Ortiz went two scoreless innings. Yeah, big arm with this kid. 98 mile an hour fastball. He's got a sweeper and a cutter. He brings it. Here's Raphael with three ground outs. And he waves at a slider away. Your sweeper. All in one. And Kenley Jansen's on his feet, loosening in the pen, blowing away. Well, Gore before the game said it's a work in progress. You know, when you're the closer, you can get out there and get some work in, but you can't really throw bullpens in between outings, try to find things. So I think she found some things mechanically in his delivery. That's low and away. Holderman was acquired from the Mets last July 22nd, actually July of 2002 for Daniel Vogelbach. Pitch coming home, and Raffaella dribbles a foul to the backstop. Holderman out there for the fourth time, no decisions. He's allowed one earned run in two and a third innings. We're in the ninth, 4-2 Boston. Pitch home, swing and a pop foul back this way. I don't think we'll ever get a foul ball this deep. No, we don't have to worry about anything back here, Joe. That'd be impressive if somebody hit a foul back all the way to us. Have to be a big, strong guy to do it. Holderman first got to the big leagues with the Mets, 4-0 in 15 games in 22. Then came to the Pirates last year, 0-3 in 56 games and a swinging strike. That's strike three. So Raffaella fans, he's 0-4. Here's Jeremy Duran, who tripled off the top of the wall in right center, grounded out 3-1, 4-3, and 1-3. Only a two-run lead. They have Cruz, who's been struggling, Taylor, and Oliveris do the pitch. Ball tipped into the mitt. They've already gone to their bench twice. Have Henry Davis, backup catcher available. And... Uh, Williams, who had a pinch triple last night, the pitch. There's a high fly ball, shallow left field, actually foul ground. Third baseman is there and makes the catch in foul territory, halfway to home plate. Hayes with the put out, two quick outs here. And here's a Brayu where the infield hit off the end of the bat that hit third base and drove home Duran in the first. Since then, he's walked twice and fan. Couple of walks. The average up to 244. It's going to be a big part of it here in the next week, especially with guys like O'Neill and Devers out a couple more days, and now it looks like Casas could as well, waiting to hear more. Down and in ball one. You know, I think that was a left rib discomfort. That was the statement. It's kind of like when Rafi left holding his shoulder, and they said left shoulder pain. <laughs> it's yeah. like, okay. And obviously, they got to wait and take a look at it, have the doctors look at it, so we appreciate any updates they give us, but that's by his back foot, so it's two and nothing. Disciplined hitter. Trying to get on any way he can with two down, nobody on. But you don't have big thumpers behind him without Casas in there. There's a big swing and a miss at a breaking ball. He wanted to hit that one into the river. Yeah. That's the thing with him sometimes, you get a little bit big. He started swinging it. It was a short stroke. He's just really short to it. He's long fall through through the baseball. He's got a lot of pop, a lot of whip in his stick. Next one is a swing and a miss. He worked down and away off speed. Two and two to William Abreu. Our postgame guest last night said he learned English by listening to people in the U.S. and watching TV. So that was much more valuable than the courses he took in Venezuela. He's very good with us last night. Yes, he is. Very brave. Very confident. 2-2 Two -two pitch. And he stays alive by grinding a foul. A defensive swing at a sweeper. Throws it over by the Red Sox dugout. Can Lee Jansen. Love to mow him down quickly. But that has not been the case lately. Here's the pitch. Up and away. Try to sweep her. Well, he's going to have that last couple hitters, Cruz, Taylor, then the top. Reynolds sort of lurking there, yeah. fourth. That's the guy you fear most. Yeah, he's fourth up next inning. 
Especially what he's done against the Red Sox. The pitch. Outside, he walks for the third time. Can you really teach that type of play discipline? No, a lot of it to me, too, is uh, you know, even though it can be a little bit of a wild swing when he decides to swing, but Abreu is very impressive how he's already in a strong hitting position. His hands are already cocked and loaded, so he just has a little lean back load, and he sees the ball so well, so long, that he makes good decisions. Now, Ref Snyder, and Rob takes a strike. Forced a runner with a ground out in the first. It should have been a double play, but O'Neill lost the handle on the relay to first. He struck out, grounded out 5-3, and walked. Ref Snyder hitting third. The pitch is swung on line down the left field line. It is a fair ball rolling into foul ground. Let's see if Abreu can score. No, he has to be held at third. He didn't hit it very hard off the end of the bat. And it wasn't very deep out there when the left fielder Reynolds got to it, so. No, he just got a piece of this little slider. And like you said, because it was hit, it was hooking quickly. But it got down and hit that little corner. So it didn't go into the corner, hit that little part that jets out and kicked out in the shallow left field. Able for Reynolds to get in there and cut it off. But this is going to be a big hit here for Reyes if he can get these two in. Well, he could make it a lot more comfortable. Took over after Casas left. In the first, the pitch, swing and a miss, slider away. That double for diabetes, $50 to the American Diabetes Association, brought to you in part by the Massachusetts Health Connector. If you need health insurance, go to mahealthconnector.org. The 0-1, Reyes, takes it low. He has come to the plate three times. A strike out, a walk, and a run scored, and a ground out 5-3. Hold him and deals. Low and away. Got the first two batteries easily, but then a walk. And now a bloop double. And Yoshida's been a hot hitter next. That was a good take there by Reyes. Tough to lay off. Guy's throwing 98. Tough to lay off that little slider just off the plate, and he did. 2-1. Popped up foul. First base side out of play. Not been one of our quicker games. Maybe because the Pirates have had so many base runners. Cutter did a nice job avoiding a lot of damage early in this game. Only give up one at the time. Here's the pitch. Low one away. Backhand saved by Bart. Red Sox wouldn't mind seeing one go to the backstop here. Yeah, you'd love to get one more, right? Make that it a lot a more comfortable. Beautiful pick by Bart. Again, there's some power. 98. Fastball yanked, and he just backhanded it. Three balls, two strikes, two out the pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Here comes the catcher back near the screen, but it's out of play. Went over the screen. So Reyes will get another chance here. Pablo has four RBIs this season, one extra base hit. Red Sox has settled for a little bloop. Take anything right now. Looks like Cam Boozer getting loose as well. If you get a knock here to open it up, might see him again. 3 2 again. Check, swing, strike three. He got him on a sweeper away. So the Red Sox leave runners at second and third. And that's a spot where Costas would have been the hitter. Mm. Of course, they probably would have walked him, but here we go to the bottom of the ninth. Red Sox lead it 4-2 in the Shaws and Star Market WEI Red Sox Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. 
Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable easy wash oven tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last. See Lowe's.com for details. If you're looking for the most epic place on earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Red Sox Review after the game on 93.7 WEEI. Twenty-six thousand twenty-five Pirate fans here, hoping for a comeback. They've threatened all day, and it'll be O'Neill Cruz batting in the Herb Chambers batting order. Alfred Romeo of Boston, uh, Herb Chambers, Alfred Romeo of Millbury, and Alfred Romeo of Warwick. As Jansen seeks the save here, O'Neill's been struggling. Popped up, struck out, and walked. First pitch from the big righty, up and away, ball one. Yeah. It's that cutter at 92, up and away, out of the zone. Again, Core talking about maybe finding something mechanically. He's been working at it. It's tough as a closer. You don't really get those innings to just work at it. Fastball strike. He was charged with a blown save, his first of the year against Cleveland on Tuesday. His first blown save since last September 5th. He's tied for fifth on the all-time list with 424 saves with John Franco. Kenley deals. Foul to the backstop. Got a swing there at a high delivery. Jansen making his eighth appearance. Four for five and save chances. A 2-7-0 ERA. Well, he hasn't given up many hits. Been the walks. Six and two-thirds innings. Only four hits, but nine, eight walks. Eight walks, nine Ks the pitch. Swing and a foul to the backstop. Almost had that one by him. Ooh. Yeah, and that's the thing with right now with Kenley, it's just the walks. Six and two thirds innings, eight walks. It's really out of character for him. And the hits he gave up, I felt like when that one appearance with the blown save. Here's the one two. Little inside, that was close. A close pitch right there. I don't even know how Cruz laid off of it. He missed most of spring training with back issues. A good slaughter down and just in. The two ball, two strike pitch, the young shortstop, the pitch. That dips low and away. That was 95. You need the strike. Michael A. Taylor is next. Jansen sets up by his ear. Here he is the pitch. And he takes strike three. That was right down the middle. Yeah, a little cutter at 94. Kind of ended up outer half, but a little extra juice on that one from Jansen. So the leadoff man is down. Michael A. Taylor has fly the right, singled, and struck out. It's been Crawford, Martin, Rodriguez, Weiser, and now Jansen, the pitch. And there's the strike, down and in. Got her at the knees at 93. Weiser faced one man, got him on a weak fly ball. Jansen working fast. He fires, and a little bit low and away. Cutter is at 94. I know he ran that count to 3-2, but the velocity's been looking a lot better here, this 93, 94 mile an hour cutter. Sets up high, ready. The 1-1 one, one pitch of the right-hand batter. And that's in there for a strike. And mm. Taylor looks back. He thought it was low. I think it was. Might have got a little gift there, Kenley. Oh, take it. That was a little bit down in the zone, but a good location. You know, Cole was talking about the velocities. Like, you know, when he's throwing 98, 99, that's not him. Like, he's 94, but the cutter action, they love the shape of it. 
some of their metrics showing it's exactly what they're looking for. Now it's just about more like location. He is out. He's out because he and stepped this, out and uh, took too much time. Yep. And here comes Derek Shelton. One-two count. They're going to ring him up. And Derek Shelton's about three seconds away from getting thrown out of this game as well. Very likely to happen here. He's barking and pointing at the home plate umpire, D.J. Rayburn. He wasn't ready to hit. No. And Taylor's kind of going back to the box. I don't even know if Taylor's aware that he just rung him up. Oh, now he's going to go talk to him. Taylor's going to go talk to him. So that'll go as a strikeout. It will. He wasn't ready. I think he told him to step into the box. He didn't do it in time. Well, we'll take that. Red Sox will take that gladly. Now Shelton's pleading his case to uh, Onora, the crew chief. Yeah, now Shelton's got to go over there and talk to Taylor, though, because you don't want your player talking to, a, talking to an umpire. You just want to get your player out of there and first base coach now coming down doing the right thing now Shelton realized the tail is still in the field and just trying to get him off the field and get him away from him. he just yeah. got thrown out the manager got thrown out yeah, a little longer than yeah. I thought I'm starting to walk away but he must have said the magic words so Shelton ejected two out in the ninth The batter will be Oliveris when action resumes eventually. Kenley will take that. Couple of punch outs here. Start the inning. <laughs> Gore's looking on, enjoying it. I don't like it. Personally, I don't like it. They got, you know, the communication. I don't know what was said as far as getting in the box, but two strikes out. He said, I think he said, I've already called the timeout. Yeah. Jance is taking some warm-ups. And I think he tried to call another timeout. He got something in his eye. Yeah, I think that's what the complaint was. So, yeah. two yeah. men down. Well, that's something the umpire should be able to work. It looked like Taylor stepped back up. He's got something in his eye. I don't know if he's trying to steal another timeout, and he rung him. Call him out. Oliveris is one for four. Last hope. And a cutter away ball one. Two out, nobody on. Kennedy Jansen. Delivers home. Big swing and a miss. It cut her up and away at 90. Again, you got that guy Reynolds on deck. You really don't need to see him up. I'd like to finish it off right here with Olivares. Seeking number 425 in the save cone. Strike over the inside edge. Well, he's moving that cutter in and out. Yeah. And up and down, too. He ran that count, three and two to O'Neill Cruz, but this is the best he's looked in a few games, easily. Locating this cutter at 93 94. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss, and the ball game is over. Jansen strikes out the side. He comes back with good command and nails down career save number 425, putting him fifth alone in the all time save. List. The Red Sox go to 12 and 10. They take the second game of the series. The final Boston 4 and Pittsburgh 2. Totals next on the Shaw's and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry, all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. If you're looking for the most epic place on Earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. 
Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction.